Good evening and welcome to the Deerfield Select Board Board of Health meeting for February 12th, 2020. Um, we're starting about uh, 6 12. Um, this is at the Deerfield Municipal Offices, the main meeting room, 8 Conway Street, South Deerfield, Mass. Um, this meeting's recorded, so you're going to speak tonight. Um, speak into the mic and tell us your name uh, for those listening at home. Um, I first wanted to welcome Casey Warren, our new town administrator. Um, so very excited to have you here and excited to be working with Diana and getting us in shape and moving along on good projects. So Thank you. Um, very happy to have you here. Um, our first order of business is a hearing. It starts at 6.15, so in a cu couple minutes. We can, um, we can, I guess I can slow read. I'll slow read the, because <laughs> this starts in, in a couple minutes here. So this is a, um, a Deerfield Select Board Notice of a Public Hearing, Mass General Law, Chapter 148, Section 13. The Deerfield Select Board will hold a public hearing to consider an application for uh, a license pursuant to Mass General Laws, Chapter 148, uh, Section 13, made by WT Land LLC to store 120,000 gallons of propane gas on property located at 901 River Road, Assessor's Map 21, Lot 1 in Deerfield. The hearing will be held on February 12th, 2020 at 6.15 p.m. in the main meeting room in the in the um, town hall located at 8 Conway Street, South Deerfield. A copy of license application uh, has been available here for inspection weekdays at the Office of Select Board, 8 Conway Street, South Deerfield during regular business hours. So I think we're close enough to uh, to get started. So um, is anyone, uh, first, I, is anyone here representing? Assume you're, all, you're here probably representing. So if, if you wanna come up and um, have a seat, yeah, you can bring, yeah, bring what, whatever you can and just introduce yourself and you can, yeah, you could set that up here even. Um, yeah, facing out to the audience and us so that, yeah, they can catch it on the camera. That'd be great. Yep, that's fine. Oh, yeah, that's that fine. works. No worries. Yeah, welcome. So uh, we've reviewed the paperwork and everything seems to be in order, the advertisement and the um, application. So just tell us a little bit about, you know, what you're planning to do. Sure. My name is John Lavin. I'm with uh, All States Asphalt, which is uh, the mother company, if you will, of WT Land. WT Land is the, is the land holder. Okay. They do things for tax purposes, probably. So, sure. You know, and the license will be in WT Land's uh, name. So my name is John Lavin, um, engineer, uh, environmental. Um, with me today, just if I can introduce. Sure, please. Is uh, Lenny Von Flatter. Hi, He's Lenny. our risk manager at All States Health and Safety. Uh, Dave Bonet. Okay. He's the uh, logistics manager. And then uh, Sean Thrasher. Hey, Sean. He's the uh, Crown Energy. Um, he's a design. He's, they're doing a design, the technical design. And installation. Okay. And then uh, John Pelletier. How are He's you? from Dead River uh, facility. So what we're thinking, you know, we had the designer. We also brought the transport people. Perfect. Just so it's the whole package, just so you could get a good idea what's going yeah. on. Um, and one thing I pointed out is um, the application. I don't know. If, the application was submitted also for a liquid asphalt. Yes, I saw that. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to. So. Yep. You know, the reason we're here is it's a good reason for all states asphalt is, is business expansion because there's, right. there's a high demand. Um, a lot of specifications in liquid asphalt. It's not just you bring liquid asphalt in and it goes out the door. There's a lot of testing. There's a lot. There's additives. There's like uh, rubbers mm -hmm. uh, that make it more flexible. So the demand is high and we're just in time projection. Okay. So. Um, Recently, uh, we, went, we went, everything that comes into our facility, as far as liquid asphalt, is, is railed in. Okay. So we have three spurs coming in. And recently, uh, we were awarded a grant by the uh, Mass, Mass Department of Transportation, the railroad mm -hmm. section. And actually, uh, I want to thank the town, actually the various departments uh, wrote us letters of support. Great. So we did win that. Um, Great. We, well, we got the grant, and it's uh, a grant where they pay half, we pay half. So we need this, we need that to get, so we're not just in time, 
we're just a little bit over just in time. Uh, and so that's, that's what's the expansion. So the key is, so we're, that's why I'm at, we're asking, requesting, respectively requesting for increase in uh, asphalt, liquid asphalt storage. Mm -hmm. We already have that. You do have some already. Yeah, we have, adding, yeah, adding it's some. on there. So we're just increasing that, yeah. putting in uh, a tank. We have two asphalt plants there. Mm -hmm. So there's liquid asphalt, and then an asphalt plant is where you put the liquid asphalt in with sand and stone, and then you put it down the pavement. Sure. So the liquid asphalt we sell to other uh, companies that may want to mix their own right they have the their idea? own asphalt plants, okay. like you know Palmer yep. or sure. you know, whoever yep. so um, we need the expansion for that with the new rail we need uh, more volume as far as bringing in it because what happens too it's not all liquid asphalt is the same okay it, there's different blends and brands and you can need different tanks to hold them to hold the different flavors sure. that's why I always call it so yep. different flavors and then it's uh, processed through uh, a mixer and it's all computerized mm -hmm. and then it just goes into a tanker truck at our scale house yep. and shipped off site okay so so that's for the expansion of the liquid asphalt and yep. you know we've, we've I think we have a really nice facility we've been there Carol yes. many years ago we had it and you're more than welcome to come down anytime yeah yep. for a, re, uh, a tour uh, we've improved it and it's still a beautiful facility we're proud of um, and our safety record, and when Chief Melnick talks, it'll speak for itself also. Yep. The, um, so the reason we're here for propane is with liquid asphalt's all about heat. Yep. So if we uh, add new liquid asphalt, we need heat. And I don't and, know if you heard about this moratorium. Yes. No, you've been heating with... Um, You've been heating with natural gas right Correct. now, but, you, but if you're going to expand your capacity, you can't get more natural gas, so you need the propane to do that. So with the moratorium, and, and as of um, last October, Dave and I has been uh, uh, communicating, because we have non-interruptible, and so he, he went and begged them on his hands and knees to try and get more, because we take natural gas in the summer right. when no one yeah. uses it, but they still wouldn't give it to us. Yep. So believe me, we, try, we, want, we, want, we want to go elsewhere. I'll give you a, just a rough number of yep. natural gas is a dollar a unit, propane is a dollar eighty a unit. Yeah, it's a big. So we're, you know, right. we're all here, we're here by necessity. Yeah. Um, and, and which is fine. And, there, you know. Was there a time you were looking at uh, doing a natural gas? It uh, was. It was, you were uh, thinking about maybe doing natural gas storage there? It was LNG. L LNG, yep. and that was a, a company out of um, uh, Philadelphia That's area. Right. Yep. And they were separate, and they were trying to come in to solve the peak shaving. Okay. You know, because right now they deliver a lot to UMass. They're, that's their biggest they customer. Yes. And they just yep. happened to see our facility came in, and we started talking. Yeah. You know, we have um, uh, with the acreage, you know, even though on the right-hand side there, yes. there's 600 yeah. acres here. 300 on the left, there's a ravine in the middle. Yep. There's uh, 300 on the left, 300 on the right, and they were talking about putting on the right. Because when you put an LNG facility, you need a Space. huge circumference. Yes, yeah. And, and it, it fit. There was, yep. It's like there were really a lot of no residents. I mean, a few, but you know, it was far enough away. So right. that's why I'm not sure what happened. Because I think in order for their deal to go through, and I might not, not I don't know for sure, so I'm not speaking out of school. No, but sure, sure. I don't know if Berkshire Gas answered the phone call. Yep. Because we have a natural gas line coming in, and they could have produced it and then uh, uh, get the vaporizer and put it back into the system in our line and going out to the, uh, the public. Right, right. So it was a natural, natural fit, but it, it, yeah, didn't, it didn't come to out, being. Yeah. And um, I don't think right now it's, it's a dead deal. Okay. So yep. right. we, we have that natural gas, and we're looking to do uh, two 60,000-gallon tanks. Yep. So we're going to phase these too. You know, we're we're not going to put the two in right away. We put the sixty in. So yep. I'm, it was my idea, or actually a few of our ideas. Just so for a license itself. I mean that we still right. have to. You know, I'm sure you're aware. We still have to go through the state, state fire marshal's office. Up. Yeah, this is just permission to put it on the land. Of course. Yeah. So and and then we're chief working with Chief Belnick and the state fire department. Yeah. Our state fire marshal's office. Um, so, and, and the other underlying reason, and we've talk, talked about this for uh, many years, is if, if natural gas goes down at that facility, we're, it's all over. We're, we, don't, we don't have a redundant system. Right. 
Right. And it's not like it would go down if it went down for two days. So it means everything cools off, we're out of business for like a week right. or more. <clears throat> so it's kind of an underlying, you know, we didn't come forward before saying, hey, we need a redundant system. It was just now it's like with this new um, rail and mm -hmm. uh, asphalt tanks and, and business expansion. Right. The demand is out there. If there wasn't a business demand, we wouldn't be asking. Right. right. Um, so with the heat, and then we have, um, as I mentioned, all the uh, uh, liquid asphalt comes in via rail, and then you know it goes out via uh, truck. Yep. Um, just give me a second. Sure. So the, we met with Chief Melnick and gone over the specification. We haven't finished with them. Okay. Uh, you know, but we, we got a good ag agreement and concept of what's going to happen. We're going to work out some technical specifications. And then we'll, before we submit that uh, permit, which will be shortly to the state fire marshal's office. And the biggest thing is safety. Right. I mean, with, you know, it's, it's, a it's a perception of it's above ground, it's propane, but there really hasn't really been a lot of episodes of uh, events. Right. You know, you'll, as people will go on, look on YouTube and see something that happened in Korea right. or something that, you know, there's no specification. So it's, it's a safe, yeah. there's redundant systems for shutoffs, and well, that's what Sean and Yeah, Peter, I, I think that's kind of what I wanted to ask a bit. Is it, we had a hearing earlier this year, and Chief Mel that came and, and spoke to that, and I was wondering if um, I was going to ask. And Chief, that's what we'll do right now. Yeah, okay, We'll great. have Sean. Yeah. Sean, Sean up. from uh, Crown Tank. Maybe just go through the insulation yeah, perfect. of uh, what we're going to be doing. Because um, when, when we approved the ones um, on Mill Village, we were concerned about flooding, so we wanted them strapped down. And that's and I think obviously not an issue up here. Yeah, we're in so, trouble. Yeah, it flood. wouldn't be. It's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. If that floods, so, you've got a major problem. I, I'm, but the, the, I'm thinking of well, the, some other special. Well, the main thing for me was to make about. sure that there was a fire suppression on them. I think if there was a fire there, I don't, I'm not sure what's right near it for those those items, but. The last right. tanks we had, we were concerned if there was a fire, right. you had hooked into the river. And I didn't know here if there's a yeah. body of water up there you can hook into or if there's a way to somehow Actually, before it. Sean starts, I'll just tell you from when we uh, expanded last time, working with the state fire marshal and actually the previous chief, we have a state-of-the-art um, fire pump system, fire okay. pond. Um, the, 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 the tanks are... Um, so, number one, you don't put water on liquid asphalt, or it, it expands and explodes. Huh. So we have this system that if this tank is in distress, the other tanks are veiled with water. Okay. So it just, and it depends on which tank it is. So we already have fire pumps up there, yep. ponds, um, okay. and we get plenty of, plenty of water, and we just got to verify that we have yep. plenty of water, because the, the propane tanks don't take a lot of water, technically. It's like 11,000 gallons, roughly. Or, Just to keep them yeah, cool. Yeah, right, because they look a at a 10-minute fire and yep. stuff like yep. that. So we, are, we already, we're, in the, we're ahead of the game. Good. As far as uh, that, we're not starting from scratch at all. Good. Okay, yeah, that was my, my main question. And but Basically, you got the area encased in granite. <laughs> yeah, the, the, yeah, correct. It's true. Co correct. No, it is. Yeah. It, yes, exactly. Would you like to buy something? No. <laughs> So uh, maybe just, yeah, a little so update. My name you. is Sean Thrasher with Crown Energy Solutions. Uh, we're a mechanical contracting <laughs> firm that specializes in the installation, design, and service of uh, strictly propane facilities. Um, the facility we're looking at, uh, again, you know, as I was kind of stated, uh, is something that this is all we do. Yeah. Um, but in addition to this process, this is just the start of the process. Um, you know, these designs are stamped uh, structurally, uh, mechanically by mass, uh, mass PEs, yep. uh, it, we involve the fire chief, um, and then it goes to the state. Right. And there's a whole other slew of things that we need to address, geological studies, um, structural studies, water studies, yep. and, and water suppression for these tanks is, is between 875 to 1,100 gallons a minute. Okay. Uh, there's a standing water reservoir of 274,000 gallons. That's what I figured, yeah. There's a 300, uh, excuse me, a 3,000 gallon a minute pump it's already installed. So that's kind of our first line of defense for Perfect. the fire department. Yep. Um, you know, the, the system is built um, nationally based on the National Fire Prevention Association Code 58, but in Massachusetts there's also CMR 527, which yep. brings in the state fire marshal in, uh, you know, again, 
in addition to your local fire department and their training, um, you know, you have the state oversight, which has it ongoing inspections. Um, there are multiple redundancies from the tanks out to the point of transfer, the point of transfer. Um, every, anybody who has anything to do with this system yeah. has to be trained, has to be licensed. And I think we, uh, last time we requested that, you know, for a cog was brought in and notified, right? I mean, we had a list no, of- No, 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 the REPC. I mean, REPC, so yeah. they, um, we had a list of requirements I think that you had worked up and I thought maybe if some of those apply or if right. all of them apply, you know, to be well, attached to our approval. We, we, we did and also we had, I'm not if, I'm sure you were, uh, last October, we had a full regional uh, response at our facility for training. Yes. And we plan on continuing that each year. Great, to thank help. you. And, and That's we're wonderful. Also, and we're I, also sending our people. When you actually get them installed, if you can just let the REPC know so they're okay. listed in our um, hazardous, okay. hazards, yeah. that's all. Yep. Um, just so it's current. And that's yeah. in, in addition to, you know, the right. on-site training. We, we've, we've spoke with, chief, with the chief and uh, to, before we put it online to have him and some of his officers go through the system itself to get a feel for it. It's, it's, it's fine to look at it on paper. It's a whole other thing to see what the system, the with. valves, where things are, how yep. they work, why they work. Sure. Um, in addition to that, uh, we'll be sending two of the, two of the, uh, fire personnel to the state um, fire ha uh, propane hazmat oh, uh, or emergency response training program. It's a three-day oh, program thank you. Um, yeah, that's great. that's held that's at great. the academy, as well as uh, two, two employees from Allstate, Allstate. State Group Wells as well, um, in addition to uh, going through a basic sea temp training, which is essentially the standard for the gas industry, okay. to cover just basic principles and responses to you know, propane and, oh, and it's- that's wonderful. So it's, it's, it's really about educating the users and making sure that anybody who has access to the site is trained, licensed, right. you know, from, from the transportation company to, you know, the installers, the servicers, and then, Sorry. you know, the state oversight for inspection for conti the continuing life of the system. Yeah, perfect. That's great. That's what like Did we see. have, was there, was there, I can't remember, Darren, was there any special equipment that you needed? You, you as didn't? far, uh, just the, Right. That's okay. Kind of what we're talking and, about. I, I couldn't remember what we did last time. The manifold and the piping to get it from the water from the okay. hydrant to okay. the tank. Right. All right. Um, the REPC yeah. notif it was notification. Yeah, it was just saying notification of Furcox Emergency REPC. Management as Tier 1 hazmat response prior to filling, yeah. first filling of the propane tanks. Um, okay. Yeah, I think it's you know, whatever, when you come up with those recommendations, if you attach them, yeah, as, as we have here with that last yeah, one. Uh, I mean, honestly, on my behalf, uh, you know, Sean hit it right on the head. Yep. All States has their first line of fire suppression. Already, there. already in there. Yep. yep. And when it comes to us, we will just be simply backing that up. Great. For anything. Okay. I, I also um, appreciate the fact that you've been also very responsible. Well, and, thank you very much. I, and yeah. John, you have been really oh, wonderful. Whatever you need, let us know. Yeah. yeah. yeah no, you've of, been really good. Fault? <laughs> no. Well, we, not any public hearing. The last not, thing we well, don't ask for that. The, no, you cannot ask for that. Well, the, you when much. you drive to the ambulance station that was just built, uh, that you're yeah. driving on the donated yeah. material. So, um, and that was is there any uh, any other questions from the board? No, I'm. I will. Make a motion to close the hearing then. Can I just one more, any oh. questions from the public? Oh. Come on up. Just a state your yeah. name. Yeah. Uh, I'm Brian Arthton. I'm representing the, uh, one of the abutters at 707 Greenfield Road. Yeah. Uh, both myself and my parents are the owners there, and so we receive the paperwork. Yeah. Um, I did talk to the chief, and so I expressed some concerns that um, us as a family had, mm -hmm. being that we're very close to where these tanks would be positioned. Of course, it sounds like they're going to be way above our heads. Yep. Um, being in light of the September 11th type activities that we've experienced with terrorism and stuff, one of the th issues my parents had brought up is just a couple of years ago, there was an employee that... Uh, did some inappropriate activities on that property. And so there was a security concern with that. <coughs> so I did visit the property. Um, mm -hmm. I finally found somebody uh, near the asphalt plant and was able to talk to him. He was very helpful. Um, he had three computer screens. He says, I can pull up security cameras in a heartbeat. Yeah. Um, that was really good. Our biggest concern is, are those monitored all 
the time. Um, he did inform me that the property adjacent right there, the asphalt itself, is not 100% um, fenced in right now, mm -hmm. but around the tanks it would be, and it would be um, definitely on camera. Yeah. Um, he did point out that the blow end of the tank, if it was to explode, would go southbound into right. a berm. Um, yep. We were glad to hear about that. So we are going to be supportive of it. Um, our biggest concern is obviously the effect it would have on our business if it was to catch on fire. But it sounds like, um, from what the chief has said, and of course talking to the gentleman that's on site, it sounds like everything, once it goes through the state, we should be okay. Thank so you. Yeah, thanks for checking it out. Thank yep. you. Appreciate it. How is the uh, propane going to be delivered? Are you going to have it rail? Well, or? you know, seeing, maybe if you want to come up. Yeah. Just since he's here, he, yeah, yeah is, um, John from uh, Dead River, they have a huge facility. He's uh, very professional in this business. He volunteers to train at the State Fire Marshal's office. So maybe that's why you could talk about transportation. Great. Of, well, welcome. Yeah, my name is John Pelletier. I drove up from Maine today to be here with you Thank folks. You. So. <laughs> uh, I'm glad I spoke. So yeah, I, I didn't tell say, you. I was bringing you up anyways. <laughs> you weren't going to close anything. Did you say you drove up from Maine? <laughs> well, I drove down from Maine. We got a problem. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. Yes, the, uh, the gas will be delivered with uh, Dead River Company. Sean will build the facility for us. Um, <laughs> It comes out of our, one of our rail facilities that I manage in Bellows Falls, Vermont. Okay. Um, so each driver is trained, not only hazmat, but we put them through CTEP uh, qualifications. And part of the loading process is before each load is pulled out of the terminal, it's got to have a sniff test. Yeah. And uh, the driver does a, performs a sniff test, so for uh, ethyl to, and all propane uh, coming into the state has got to be HD5 propane, which is stenched with methanol, uh, with uh, ethanol. So, um, so that's a big concern. A driver will deliver uh, about roughly 10,000 gallons to the facility. It takes him about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes to offload. Um, how much? How many do you expect? Um, I mean, will you be running that through the winter? Probably not. Your, your asphalt shuts down through the winter, but I'm wondering how many trips you'll to. Two, two or three, three loads, a, loads week. a week. Two or yeah. three loads a week. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Through the winter when you don't have the gas, the natural gas. Yeah, correct. So. Oh, I see. Yeah, we have. So you yeah. use the natural gas most yeah. of the and year. We're going to have, we're going to need to use this too because we, the natural gas we have. You're at max capacity. capacity. Right. So we'll be using that unless but, something but, could go offline and then we would keep. Because the, the, the boilers that we're putting in are going to be dual fuel. Okay. And we also deliver the gas to uh, all states got uh, various locations throughout Maine. Yep. Two, and uh, two locations right now, one that Sean built uh, previously okay. that uh, we deliver to. Yep. Um, and another one this past summer was built, so. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions from anybody? Motion to close the hearing. I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very much. I Thank really you. appreciate you giving us all your information and help tonight. Um, I make a motion to um, uh, sign off on storing of 120,000 gallons of propane gas and two 60,000 gallon. And also, um, just to add to that, the asphalt, cement, um, fuel oil, polymers, calcium chloride, I think, is that what no, I should write that was, it, that was, um, that's what you already have. It, it, what I did, what I did, I, in the package, I gave the old license. Oh, gotcha. And then we were asking for 1,400 tons of additional one. Yes, and that's I, what it was. And I gave, I, I gave a, a, a loose sheet so you could sign it to make it easier for you. Gotcha. So, yeah, there's an old one. Yep. And then the new one is the first one. Then you'll see. I just wanted to yeah, show it you what you, it was previously uh, approved. Right. And then, uh, so it was requesting uh, 1,282 uh, tons of uh, asphalt actually, cement and 12. It, it was actually 1,400. I made it. Oh, 1,400? Every public hearing, it, it, you can always have one typo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's 1,400. It's so, so okay. It's 1,400. Tons of liquid asphalt, asphalt cement, cement and, uh, and uh, 120,000 gallons of, of yeah. propane. Right, 120. Okay. Two, two sixty. Right. Two sixty. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thanks. Sorry about that. Okay. So uh, for a total of 120,000. Right. 
this year. Yeah. yeah. And this is the mat. This is what um, they're to referring to. It didn't sound like they were saying those totals. Okay. And then do you, uh, do you have a second? I have a second. And then uh, my, uh, my only thing was that just Chief, make sure that your recommendations go, you know, I think you sent them in to us last time. We just put it with the application. Okay. So that'd be great. Um, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Sure. And so, so. Yeah, I just want to We're make just going to sure wait that for one. the Chief's application uh, uh, list. It says amended? Yeah. Well, it's attached. Well, exactly yeah, what we did true. before. He's going to just attach the list. Can I take it first? Yes, or, <laughs> sure. Yeah, take it. So yeah. I can look at it. We can sign it later on. Before yeah. John leaves? Yep. yep. <laughs> That's good. John, don't leave. <laughs> You just check something. I'm sorry. I would just take the this old one. This is my one. second day. Bear with me. Do Talk about a need, typo. You need a calculator? <laughs> <laughs> well, we just want to make sure yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay. absolutely. That's the, um, absolutely. We, we don't need the strap, you know, to strap down the extra because of flooding. That was. No, the, no, um, no. That was one of the other ones. Mm -hmm. I mean, that Perfect. was the Mill Village one. <clears throat> so, but the other recommendations, I think, were mm -hmm. fine. Yeah, I mean, as far as working with Sean is. Utilizing their fire pump on scene with their capacity of water. Um, so it's a lot. It's just a matter of working with, with Sean. Perfect. Um, yeah. Okay. By making sure we put the right application on, right. on that situation. Thank you, thank you for coming, Darren. That was yeah, really nice. Thank you for working yeah. with us. We, yeah. we enjoy doing business in Deerfield. And, I'd love and to that have comes you from in Deerfield. the owners, actually. Yeah. Um, the Hankowski family and sure. Dick Miller. Yep. So, and they've mentioned it to me several times, and appreciate it. We'd love to have you in town, for yeah. sure. Okay. No. Thank you very much. You're going to be great job for us. Your business. Anytime you need a tour, let us know. Okay. okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks for coming you. tonight. Thank you, everybody, Thank you for coming. She only had the amended, the old one. All right. So. Yeah, absolutely. Great job. We move on. We'll keep going. Yeah, sure, sure. Take a minute while they Casey, you want to just put on um, that I'll be just working with Sean as far as any of my recommendations? Yeah. Yep. I think we'll add that on to that. I'm going to let Casey just put on that I'll be working with Sean. From yeah, town. perfect. So yeah. that way That's all kind of umbrellas, suppressions. Right. Right. <clears throat> I Whatever. know we've already got a lot more than you. I had know you feel comfortable with them, but just officially having that list, oh, yeah, just perfect. Is good. And I mean, I don't have any concerns if you don't have any concerns. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> good to see you. Thanks for coming. Thank you, Darren. Okay. Yeah. 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 So Thank you. Sorry, sure. I know. Sorry. Thank you, John. No worries. I really appreciate it. Yep. Okay. Sign this one. And then we'll. Did I hear? And then we're gonna wait for Darren to get us his condition. He's gonna. Send he's gonna email you. Yeah. Yep. It's, it's just like. Notify the RAPC when it's in so that it's updating our you know, tier one hazmat response. So, what we might want to put in here is see, see attached uh, restrictions. And, uh, no, attached conditions. conditions. It's, 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 I mean, what, the Mill Village one had those extra straps. Hi, John. How are you? I'm great. How are you? That's what I don't know. I mean, right now, right now, I'm going to be doing this. I've always said that. Yeah, I get. Yeah, I the dots on the map, stuff like that. Just so it's I'll be here for a little. I want to make sure she gets on. That that allows all the hazmat teams to know what the what it is there. Yeah, and I just like a chance to scan it. Yeah, so that we can keep it, up. Right. yeah, so we can keep it in an electric, yeah. Yeah. Then we got to record that. At the right. Registry. Right. Thank you, John. It was good to see you. They don't. Sorry.
I just double check. I just want to follow up on something. Sure. Yeah, that's what we have. Right. Yeah, exactly. I want something that's an attachment. Okay. That's good. Yes. All right. So, um, continue on with our, our meeting. We'll, um, you know, do you want to uh, hit on any select board announcements or just hit, start getting on our old business? Well, I just want to mention that the MVP forum oh, is February 29th. There are, um, that's the last Saturday, the leap year Saturday. Um, it's at Frontier, yeah, uh, 9 to 4. And um, it's, it, you need to sign up because it's free lunch. So if you want a lovely free lunch, then you need to sign up. Yes. And it would be really a lot of good information. Yeah, I think the library's getting involved. There's a lot of people, I've talked to Chris Curtis about it. He's got a packed agenda. So please come out to Frontier on the 29th. Please register and get involved with them. Um, and if you're not interested in climate change, then um, the P uh, PVMA is having an all-day um, uh, event uh, commemorating a reactment of um, the 1704 massacre. So that is an all-day wonderful program, too at PVMA, so. Yep. Um, you can do both. Either. You can you can yeah. do both. There's stuff going on, but you do need the to sign up my family. by the next choices. week for the free lunch. Yes. yes. Original Williams family was okay. So please, by family. next week, sign up. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, under old business, the request for sewer abatement at 6 Robs Way, South Deerfield, uh, the new homeowner um, had moved in and uh, moved in in the summertime. So, we had talked about this a few weeks back, and I just wanted to think about a policy a little bit about it, talk to Barb and others about it. And um, so what I would propose, um, I would mention to you all, is that, so just a background of what happened. If somebody sells a home um, and they purchase it, come to a resident, and they're on our sewer system uh, and water, and they uh, purchase a home in the summertime, they get their bill, um, and normally every resident in town on the sewer with water gets an abatement. They pay no more than 125% of their previous winter's usage. Um, but if you weren't a usage before, uh, you get a big bill for all your summer usage. And we didn't think that was fair, and not, not a great welcoming to, uh, to the community. Welcome. Here's your $500 uh, yeah. <laughs> right. So um, it's only fair that, that the abatement would go with the property. and we. And thinking about this, we didn't want to just jump into that because we wanted to think about unattended consequences. And if a property had set, sat vacant for a, a year through the winter time, um, we'd be giving somebody a full abatement. They would have nothing to, um, you know, it would be a large um, abatement, which really wouldn't be fair. So we thought, uh, we came up with looking back five years, taking the average of the five year. Um, you, winter usages, take that average and abate on that amount. And that seems well, only fair. So, so it levels it out. Um, so I would, um, what I wanted to do was make a motion to um, abate uh, $2,189.12 um, of their bill. And that would, was going to leave them, I think it was a 300 and had it somewhere. It was a $332.18 bill, mm -hmm. which includes their, you know, the $100 minimum usage and, um, and the average of their winter usage out of five years. Um, so that, that seemed like a fair, a fair thing so to do. So and then, just repeat that number again? yeah, so the, um, the, the assessed amount was 2,521.30, which was their whole, you know, no abatement at all. Um, the abatement we would give would be two thousand one hundred eighty-nine dollars and twelve cents. Um, they are have they would have a bill of three hundred thirty-two eighteen, which would be a, kind of a normal okay. normal bill. So, um, and and that's one hundred twenty-five percent of the five-year. Yes. Yep. Takes the oh. five-year average. One hundred twenty-five percent that, of that. Really and good. then Actually, really I thought we idea. would um, just add that policy to our sewer policy, and I talked to Barb about it. it it's gonna be a very infrequent thing. So Barb was like, oh no, now I've gotta check for this all the time. It's gonna be one of those things where somebody moves in, gets a bill, and goes, wait a minute, and then comes in and sees the clerk. We won't be able to police that, because we we're not looking at who buys a house and when in the town, but 
if you buy a house in the summertime and you get a big bill and you don't think it's, you know, something's not right, you come in and talk to the clerk and we'll have a policy on file to help with that. And we could do an abatement like we have here. So at least we'll have something going forward to help help people out. So Actually, that's where we're at. The bill was twenty six thirty. Uh, no, this was this was what the what it was. This was a. Uh, uh, prorated from the last oh, okay. person that lived there, so that's the amount they got okay. charged. So, right. um, okay, great. So I will sign that. Um, oh, did we make a uh, no. make a motion, make a motion mm -hmm. to um, support an abatement of two thousand one hundred ninety-nine dollars and twelve cents? I'll second it. And all those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you for doing that work. No, no problem. No, I, I really appreciate that. It was very thoughtful. Yeah, for them. I um, appreciate you putting time in. Sure. So uh, next is the review and sign the um, DPC contract, which is uh, Dave Prickett Engineering. So this would be the um, engineering proposal for the collection system, CMM, CMOM, and asset management, which just means uh, they're going to be cameraing. Uh, that's a word, but take, putting cameras down the pipes of all of our um, all of our sewer pipes um, in the in the whole town, north end, south end. Um, we have already assessed a lot of our manholes, but they will also be, you know, obviously where they go in. They'll, they'll be looking at that, and they'll be um, with the camera of that. They're going to look at whether they're going to have to dig up the pipe and replace it because it's too bad or too old. Or what they can do is line them. They kind of put a sock down in there and pressure steam it. It, it kind of creates a new a new area for the sewage to so go through. So are they going to actually come up with a dollar figure for working on yes. our um, piping? Yes. Pipes. So okay. yeah. So what this will do is they'll assess everything. They'll know what it costs and then come up with a an asset management plan like okay. we have That's for the other two plants. Okay. They also are, um, re they've readjusted this so that we could then apply for grants. Yes. Um, and they also are adjusting this so, and putting it into the plan so when we go to apply for another USDA grant, this is uh, in the USDA format so that we can then hopefully roll it into that. And um, possibly, we don't know, but if USDA granted it, we would then get a reimbursement on a portion of that through the USDA. Yeah, so I think, you know, that, that seems, seems yeah. pretty good. So he, he redid it so that it's going to be done in a format that will be acceptable to USDA. So yeah. I, I, then, I would say that that's wonderful. And he adjusted the okay. cost of that, took into consideration the things that you were asking um, for. I make so. a motion that we um, approve this contract to sign. Um, and it is. This, um, my understanding is, um, when, when's the timeline on that? Mm -hmm. So this, uh, so the project schedule is based on an assumed authorization by February 17th, which we're, we're close okay. to that. We'll commence work on this project upon receipt of the signed copy of the task order. The following schedule is anticipated based on the individual tasks. So task one through three would be September of 2020, uh, completion. Okay. Uh, completion of task four by October and completion of task five by uh, December. So task one is. Um, can we um, can we ask him? Uh, I mean. So the MVP okay. grant assistance will be done right away, and that that will okay. have. Um, there's no charge for that. Um, then the CCT uh, CCTV inspection of inroad uh, that would be done. Um, let's see, one, two, three, and the easements will be done by September, and then four would be the update the asset management database, which we have, um, and then the summary report would be done by December. I'm hoping that we could ask him to try to finish up by November. Well, you can try. <laughs> no, I mean, but I can't. To I, do with this, yeah, he's, but this is going to be tight. I think they have a lot of work. So I, I know, but and I, I think it would be really important to get it done by November mm -hmm. because your new um, federal year starts, and I, I think there's going to be more. My understanding is going to be more USDA. Well, so so yeah. we 
we want to be ready for the September. Well, it's well, we know 1st. he knows that we're going to be applying for USDA again through the summer in the right. summertime, but it won't always be on this. We also have other projects yes. too. So. Okay. Yeah, we can. Yeah, so definitely. He knows. He knows. He's right. aware, right. fully aware of all the grant stuff sure that we want to be. We're ready. Line. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. And oh, just to be clear, it. the yes, two thirty three five that's in the nineteen million already that's been authorized, Trevor. That's uh, where the funding it, is, uh, or no, no, I don't, I don't think not. it is. So where no, is this? Already, it's already in our budget as far as our rates. So oh, um, so this is going to come out of the enterprise exactly. fund. Exactly. Okay. okay. All right. I'm just wondering when yep. the funding source is yep. because yeah. Funding okay. The, the enterprise fund. Yep. Okay. This right. is That's why we raised the rates. So. Right. Versus, I mean, we're, the I and I's. What we're trying to do is try to figure out how we can fix our pipes. And the um, okay. the actual replacement of the pipes probably would have to look at. You know, I think some of that 19 was That's talking about right. gotcha. replacing so much a year. I, that was in the 30. You know, when we looked at 30,000, it was it was to you know a, a couple hundred thousand dollars a year of pipe gotcha. replacement, but. Okay. We have to first figure out truly what we need first. But, um. Okay. I just Thank want to you. make sure we're in the, ready for the grant cycle. Yeah. Yep. He, he's aware of that for sure. Okay. And we can, we can have that. I think we have a meeting coming up pretty soon. The 21st. Uh, 21st, yeah. yeah. So we can we talk yeah. about that then. We, well, I'll just, I'll just pass on what I had heard. So yeah. He has that would be great. Line. And I know that um, just while we're talking about USDA that um, Barbara, Brenda, Casey, Diana, they'll be talking with um, Rebecca about our um, interim financing agreement, kind of all the prior, um, all the requirements for that. What, you know, Barb really wants to know, like, do we need a loan for everything right up front, or do they just need to know from bond council that we're good for that money, and we can go get a loan when we need to, because we don't want to borrow it all up front. We don't have to, so we'd like to do a few bands, and then, so we'll get answers on that, I think, Thursday at 1. Mm -hmm. They'll have a conference call on that, and we okay. had a um, we had a we went we attended a webinar last yeah, week. I'm sorry, I no, it was it was not what we had hoped for. I was I it was really interesting to talk about future funding, but it wasn't um, it wasn't really what we hoped for. We got a little bit of answers from it, but it was more like if you've never done this project before, this is how you go about it. So anyway, it's good to have them see us, and we did. We did talk with Rebecca a bit, so it's good to be in touch. Um, I was going to say that. It does. It does. I think way. so. So, if you call them so we have a motion to approve the contract of two thirty-three five hundred. Um, yeah, second. A second. A second. Any further discussion? Any questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Great. Oh, aye. I'm sorry. Thank you. I was shaking my head. <laughs> it doesn't count. Nope. Uh, let's see. So there's two copies of that. Two copies. Okay. okay. So I just signed the back there. I think so. I think so too. Contract, which is the next thing, to Janamine, right? Yeah. Is she still negotiating for us, or I think she's just, done. There, there's no other. Right. No, it's she. I, I thought I would put in the packet the um, memo she'd sent, basically that says yeah, the revised so the, contract. The DEP thing is sorted out, but yeah. I don't know if she is she working on prices anymore. She was. Yeah, I think that did. Um, I put that stuff in the packet too, where she. Basically, given them those prices, I, I, did, I think the price that I do have so, an email from Kevin about the prices that I got today. Mm -hmm. um, I'm still acclimating to what's in the packet, so yep. If it's it's if it's not there, it's me. Nope. Um, it's good. But I think she had finished that negotiation. She mm -hmm. was wor they were working on the well, hauling just, piece of it, she, but as long as we're as long as we cooperate. She knows she's trying for us. She's right? trying I mean, really hard. It is the best. I, I mean, there's really not much we can do about it. But okay, um, so, that's fine. yeah, I mean, as long as she's, she's working on she's it. She's working on it as best she can. Mm -hmm. so, so we'll sign this. Um, yeah, I make a motion to sign it. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Awesome. 
I'll leave the date open for you guys to do what you want to do. Yeah. It breaks it out. Oh, no, it breaks. Okay. Um, this afternoon. So that's done. Three, zero. Um, next is to sign the MVP consultant contract for with Conservation Works. This is the to pay for the. Um, Chris Curtis is our um, consultant working on the MVP grants, which is paying for what the town authorized at special town meeting recently, which was the all the work that goes into the MVP replacement of the culvert and the other stuff we're doing for the grant that we just got. So, um, any questions on that? No, I make a motion we pay, um, we sign the contract with Chris Curtis. And thank him very much for doing a really good job. And this would be um, $33,800, um, which was figured into the grant. So, which is part of the grant. Yep. Um, and I think and I don't sign this. We approve you to sign it, Yeah, right? I think I had signed the previous one, so he yeah. just put my name on it. I, yep, I think that's fine. So either you guys. And, and yeah. so um, this is not going forward for the next round. If this is for this is the for the, work. for the work of the previous round. Correct. It's for the current grant we just received, yep. MVP, Doing what we're calling five. Yep. It's the work for MVP five. Okay. Okay. So we put in our budget the next money for the next round, or do we have enough money in the budget now for the next round? Because we don't know when the next round is. But Correct. Yeah, no, we only currently have funded what we have, we've been okay. awarded. Yep. So the match for that. Um, the application for the next round, how are we going to pay for that? Well, we did put money in the budget for and under contracted yeah. services. For the grantsmanship, right? we did. Right, for yeah. the grantsmanship. And then yes. once right. we get there, we'll we have increased, to ask for money we, later. We bumped it up a little bit. We did. Yes. Yeah. Because we knew okay. that hopefully there'd be another round. I mean, round we get coming. reimbursed for it. Yeah. So it's not a big deal, but we have to front it. Right. And, and every time we hear about money, we want to put something in, obviously. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, he's been great. Well, okay. The whole program has been really good. So we have a motion, second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Well, okay. I'll let Thank you sign. You. Um, do Do we need to talk about the assistant town administrator hiring? Are we just waiting till you got to get settled in a little bit, right? It's my second day. <laughs> Good. We'll, we'll bypass that. Table that item for and the moment. And what are you waiting for? <laughs> day two. I mean, I don't day know. two. Where is that person? Day two. <laughs> um, I thought you were reviewing today, Casey. <laughs> We've got uh, Skip here to uh, review and vote to accept personnel board recommendations, already grade step increases, etc. Are, are you waiting a little bit, Skip? Or are you? This was. Well, the, <clears throat> you were going <clears> to. <throat> Were you waiting for a few more people to show up? The board was going to show up? I expected there might be more people to show up. Yes. Uh, it's possible that you may be the only one. <laughs> well, we, can, we can keep going and then wait a little bit and come back wait, to you. Wait a couple minutes. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> See if anybody else shirts you up a little. Yes. <clears throat> okay. And so, even if no one shows up, I mean, it's not... Uh, we can You're prepared to, to make it. I'm just going to, um, I'm going to, this is a bigger topic and discussion, so we'll, just the prioritization of projects and incentives, can we just hold on oh, that for yeah, a minute yeah, and yeah. go? So new business, um, <clears throat> award Mill Village Road Culvert construction contract with Luciano's to, uh, in the amount of $192,600. This was, again, the construction part of the base. MB the MVP grant phase three, I think it was, or four, so, or whatever. So it was um, they, they <laughs> were three. proved out to be okay. What's that? Um, this came in under bid, so. Yes, yeah, so this is a recommendation from Ty and Bond, from Zach, okay. who's been your consultant. Um, and he gave, I think I put in the in there, I put the their um, prop opinion of probable cost, and they um, had the bid amount, they came in the low bidder, and they gave you a whole reference evaluation for performance and for um, their financial standing, et cetera. Okay. So. They gave you a, a detailed oh, here reference. It here it see it. Oh, yes. the time bond yeah. stuff. Yeah, here's right out. It's right copy. behind the um, right, right behind the recommendation. Their, um, yeah. Oh, right here. Yeah, this is so their this bid. Is their, this wow, is what a difference bid. in bids, huh? I know. Well, we figured it was going to be 400. I and thought it was going to be 232. Wow. Mm, but this one, that's why I just wanted to make sure this one was really yeah, checked. pretty good. Pretty good. But it seems like. what they thought. So that's pretty good. Uh, so, you did a probable cost of 332, so 192 is not, is only like $30,000 difference. 
We'll take it. I mean, if it, I mean, yeah. if it's under bid, it's mm -hmm. fine. I okay. As long as they and they have checked out yeah. everything. They right? Checked out they're, their they're references. They say they're they're none of their did a financial report. Okay. No, they did a financial report. They got the performance yep. and so payment. Is there bonds. anything we need to sign or no? Just to um, vote. No, I, I think just to award the just to award it right, and then no. I make a motion to award the contract. Um, for $192,600. I'll second that. Lucianos. Any further discussion or questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Wow. Hmm. Um, here's, the, here's the reference list. Oh, of the other stuff they've yeah. done? Yeah. No, the oh, yes. comparison. So. Yep. Did you have that? Because I can give you mine. No, that's okay. I'm sure it's in here. Okay. Not really, really. Yeah, it's here. Yep. Okay. Um, so then this is uh, signed the FERCOGS IMA for the ADA self-evaluation transition plan project. Yeah, we're going to table to that. We're going to table, table that. that. Yeah, okay. we just, um, so we just got awarded the grant um, and I have gotten a draft scope from the COG, but uh, we need to look at it because we actually have some ADA work covered through some other sources. So we don't so want to sure be redundant. Exactly. Okay. So we just need yep. to. We'll hold on how how much on is that grant agenda. for? 13,000. 13,000? Okay. Yes. And who's it from? That's from the Office of Disability, Mass Office of Disability. Okay. So next item is Pocumtic Valley Memorial Association. This is a 2020 craft fair uh, request from uh, Timothy Newman. Um, he typically, let's see, so we um, attached to the list of the craft fair requests to go before the selectmen. It is in the same format I've used for the last few years, including parking and street closings, as well as uh, all important transient vendor waiver. Um, also attached is a scanned copy of the license, you know, his license, 2020 promoter's license. Um, he will be reviewing with police uh, coverage with the chief. So um, this is just to approve the, approve the craft show, right? So I am. It's just the craft yeah, yeah. request. Yeah, so I have, I have no issues with it. request to hold it. Is that what it is? Request uh, to, yeah, to allow them to hold it. Yep. So I'm good with that. Yep, I make a motion to approve um, the request and it's September. What's the date? Uh, it say? Second weekend usually. Yeah, it doesn't say here. Mm -hmm. the dates anyway. It's the second or third weekend of the Well, uh, I'll say September. Yeah. The September um, craft fair. Just if we can get a date, yeah, that would we be will. great. Sure. Yep. That's good. And he's going to check with the chief, so I'm good with that too. All right. Um, me. second. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so that's done. Please come out and enjoy it. Mm. It's always a good time. Um, so this is a request for comments for a ZBA hearing, February 12th. Uh, this is Renaissance Builders uh, for North 6 North Street. I know we discussed this last meeting. Yeah, we did. But, um, the only question I, I had is I was voted to move on without objection. We did, and I think so. I don't have any concerns. I think uh, one of the CBA members had some concerns about setback, and there was some other stuff involved. So as long as other departments do their due diligence, I don't have any issues. I think we looked at it; we were fine with it. But one of the CBA members was concerned that something to do with the property line and setbacks and stuff. So uh, do you know anything about that, Diana, at all? The setbacks Is this for that? Smart Connects? I'm trying to figure this, out. This, this was for that building Smart on North Connects, Street. Right. Were, Smart Connects, right. Smart Interconnects. They were like a little addition for a loading dock or some sort of right. thing, little shop addition. Right. And I didn't have any issue with it. The only question was that one of the, one of the CBA members I was speaking to had talked about there might be some some issues with setback and stuff, but that really is for them to figure out, not us. So okay. I don't have any concerns as long as it meets all their needs. All right. So we always love to see businesses expand. I remember there being working. something about the parking or something. Yeah, there was something that, about yeah, like there might not be enough parking or right. 
That's what I do. Well, I think they were trying, it, it's percentage of lot coverage, I think. He said he thinks that there was an ability for them to expand, but maybe not where they were showing it because oh. of lines or. Yeah. That's the only way they can expand there. There wasn't, you couldn't come out to the road. And no, it, it, back. Ha it has to go south on that building. Right. That's the only place you can expand. So, anyways, so they'll sort that out. Anyways, I don't, uh, do, you, do we, we're good to move ahead okay. with no comment. Sure. Uh, no, no, or no, no objections. No objections. objections. Yep. Yeah, no, yep. no concerns. You don't want to say. Providing the other boards look into it, do their due diligence. And yep. Um, review the draft section of the vector borne disease for hazardous mitigation. I do not, you must know about this. Um, well, what happened is um, I went to a Homeland Security meeting um, last week and um, everybody was renewing their plans in Berkshire County and they're adding this new section on vector borne diseases and, and we That's have mosquitoes. It, mosquitoes and ticks. And the reason why they're doing it is because this past year, obviously there was a bad triple E year and they're anticipating another bad triple E year. Yeah, so there might cool. be federal or state money. And if it's part of your hazard mitigation, you can collect money. So I, they sent um, Allison from Berkshire Regional Planning, um, you know, the, FER, mm -hmm. the Berkshire Planning. version of the yes. FERCOG, yep. sent me their, what they're putting in everybody's plan. And so I thought, oh. Why not put it in ours? So why not put it in ours, just in case we have the opportunity this year? It was, we're just renewing this. So okay. what I needed to do is rewrite it, because obviously um, they're talking about the cases in Berkshire County. Right. And so we just have to say the cases in um, Deerfield, which we have, all the, we have all the information, and we have all the data from um, our Mosquito District. So mm -hmm. I was just going to update this and uh, put this and send this to um, uh, Kimberly, so that it's ready. If it was okay with you guys, yeah, um, to sense. it would be ready for the February 26th um, meeting hearing, okay, because it's a new section. So I just yeah. wanted to make sure you guys were okay, I'm okay with that. With that. It sounds but the legit the, yeah. the yeah. reason basically is to be in a yeah. position to collect if there's an emergency, sure. So, um, if it's part of the hazardous mitigation, you get to you get to collect it. Good, all right. The um, next item is to approve the, um, uh, the annual appointment of election poll workers, but I, I don't. We have it here. Oh, this yeah. long thing. Yeah. Yep. Okay, great. So do you want me to read these names? Um, <clears throat> I guess. Sure. Okay. So uh, we this. Well, well, I make a motion to appoint and then you just read them. Okay. Motion to appoint. Um, we, the selectmen of the town of Deerfield, by virtue of the authority vested in us by the laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, do hereby appoint the following as poll workers for the term beginning February 12th, 2020, ending December 31st, 2020. Um, Bonnie Andrioli, uh, Cheryl uh, Bardas, Lee, Sherry, well, it's a Cheryl. So, Sherry. Uh, <laughs> Lee Easton. Um, Jane Gilbert Keith, Diane Kowalski, Margaret uh, Kostick, William Lino, Cynthia Magalinski, Na uh, Natalie McCormick, Carol Morrow, Irene Morrissey, John Nove, Albert Olmsted, uh, Shirley Patterson, Mark uh, Pichette, Eleanor Podlesny, Podlesny uh, Sophie Sacco, uh, Nan Sadowski, Bruce St. Peter's, Marie St. Peter's, Mary Stokarski, Stanley Stokarski, Margaret Telega, and Jane Risley. Can I have a second? No second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Should we sign in both spots here? Yes. Thank you, Skip. Yes, come on up. Yeah, <coughs> I guess I'm going to be all alone. <laughs> <laughs> not sure what that's funny up. how that worked out, that. huh? Yeah. I yes, thought they were all going to be here. Yeah, there was <laughs> such. To be honest with you, I thought at least there were three out of the four of us. <laughs> exactly. Mm. I need to. <coughs> well, Skip is here with all his friends. 
Somebody else has to bring <laughs> the donuts to the next meeting. They're like, Skip's going to be there. We don't need to go. Right. He knows what's going on. So, or he doesn't know what's going on. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, I hear a door. I hear a door. Let's see. Okay. All right, I'm pretty sure. I thought for sure Raloon was going to be yeah. here, but I know she said after seven, so I don't know. Oh, she got, okay. She she was doing she something. Said, yeah, yeah she seven. was she was tied up, so I wasn't sure when she was going to get here. Hmm. All right. So how are you? Welcome. I was okay when I came in. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see how I am when I leave. Sounds good. <laughs> oh gosh, Skip, come on. <laughs> okay. So this was um, to discuss maybe the, um, we had asked recently for the personnel board to kind of evaluate a couple of positions and then um, one was the building inspector and uh, the other I think was our town accountant. Um, at least the last personnel meeting I had gone to, which was not the last one you had, but was to kind of talk about um, evaluating those positions when we had hired the current building inspector we hired him at a grade five uh, with the intention of regrading that and we did at that meeting before we hired him to regrade that position to a grade six um, but we were not hiring that person at a grade six until they met all the requirements and had a good probationary period and were, became a, a building commissioner um, so that's kind of where that left off and I guess the reason this came up is because we're setting budgets for next year trying to come up with some money figures for the budgets um, and then at that time I also asked if the board would look at the position of the accountant because she had been taking on quite a bit more of the budget work and we wanted to make sure that she was being compensated fairly for that and then there's you know there's other discussion about we haven't really done an evaluation of where we're at in the town for a while so do you want to take it from there and see what your there's a door input is yeah. Yay. let's see if we actually Baby some support dogs. for Yay. skip good just in timing, timing. we thought perfect. you had perfect timing or yeah. <laughs> no <laughs> welcome welcome so really I just gave early. a quick recap of what my request to the personnel board was a couple weeks, a couple meetings back, but, and um, Skip was going to give yeah, us a, I, kind of an update of where, where you guys are at and what you want to do. I wasn't exactly sure. I, I knew we were going to take a look at, at the building inspector and what I'd asked for uh, mm -hmm. uh, was I wanted to see a copy of the old job description along with the evaluation of that job description, the points that we use, yep. and then the new job description and the evaluation of that with the new point setup. Uh, see how they fit. Um, it's been a while since, you know, I've gone through some of those, and I didn't know, we didn't, couldn't remember exactly if you got 500 points, mm -hmm. where did that fit? Or if you had 1,000 points, where did that fit? Right. So, uh, I, to be honest with you, I, don't, I was not anticipating actually going through a complete evaluation process. There are four of us on the personnel board, and I don't think I'm speaking out of turn by saying none of us have personnel backgrounds. Understood. Yeah. Oh, no, and that's fine. Civic engagement. And yeah, my expectation that. was, quite honestly, that those evaluations of those positions and the, the changes in the job description would be done by your office. Mm -hmm. um, and we had done the building inspector only the last meeting of our last full board. But, and and, and unless, I missed, stuff, unless I missed something... What I thought was the old job description and what I thought were the new job description, when I took a look at them, they looked the same. 
Yeah, well, my, my has... fear was that they may not have been updated. Correct. Like, it Cause... hadn't been updated. Correct. Okay. So the job description has just only been evaluated, and right. there were notes taken to incorporate some of the changes, some of the changes into the new job description. But, but the new job description has not so. been written. So it made right. it a little difficult to actually that. do much of anything. Yep. And you mean the changes that were made in the June 19 personnel board meeting? That sounds about that right. That was my like first. I wasn't an official yeah, member. Yeah. I was. There was a lot of other people there that right. Aren't it was on the there old. Now. The old, old board, board was yes, there. And I was kind of that just being introduced Correct. to the whole world of it yeah those kind of, that evaluation was it was kind of I was hoping that was going to get written into a, a new job description yeah. and a new rating system but it you know with all we do and not enough staff it probably hadn't gotten there yet so I could see how it would make it hard for you to kind of evaluate in, in it. any event you know the discussion that that we had uh, last night uh, really came you know we, we decided or we thought that perhaps the best thing to do was for the town to take a good hard look at all of the current positions in the town. Yes. Uh, and I was talking with, with Casey earlier yesterday, and she said, you know, the last time that we actually did this, I think, was 2009. Yeah. So was it's that been. Was, Don, was that Don Jacobs or was yes, that the Collins Center? Mm -hmm. oh, no, okay. that was Don Jacobs. So okay. it was over, you know, 10 years ago. The yeah. jobs have changed. They have. And if we're going to do one, yeah. shouldn't we really do all of them? And yeah. you were asking us to sure. do the, you know, and I wasn't aware that we were actually going to attempt to do the, the, the town clerk and the town right. uh, accountant, but they were there. But yeah, those positions were there. More than, we so we were asking more than you obviously that's more have than, the ability to do. And than I feel comfortable even trying to do. Yeah. I mean, if, if I, I think I can sit. And if I've got somebody there who wants to talk to me, your yep. uh, town administrator who wants to talk with us about the job description, how it was rated, right? I think you know we can Get through we can that. listen to that and hear it and, and make a you know a, a recommendation mm -hmm. to you folks. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's what I yeah. was anticipating. In any event, I think what we need to do is plan. And since it's budget season now, right. it's a good time to do it, uh, to plan on going, uh, hiring someone with the kind of background that we need to come in and evaluate the job descriptions and, and uh, the functions that they, that makes sense. those positions I mean, uh, I perform. Think part of the issue <coughs> that I've noticed since I've been trying to perform this job is that when we try to fill a position, um, it's hard matching up the pool that of people that are a very small pool of people that are out there and their requirements for salary with our schedule. Not that our schedule is wrong or maybe is or maybe isn't. That's why we need to evaluate it. But just specifically for the building inspector's position, just there's, there's just none out there to ask. I mean, there just isn't a pool of people to get. And, um, just talking with different builders and different inspectors in my job out there, you know, I think the average age of the building inspectors was like 62 or 57 or something. I was talking to a builder on Saturday and there's, they're aging out. Mm -hmm. Plumbers are aging out. Everybody's aging out of that industry. And well, if it, let me interject there. Sure. The, uh, our, our current board of health, uh, uh agent, mm -hmm. uh, who was our former building inspector is 15 years older than that. Exactly. 62. So I don't think he's the young. only one weighing on that figure, but, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's true. It's hard to, um, so, you know, it's people. hard to have, there's not a big pool to pull from. And then when we do get, when we do interview and find people that are qualified for what we were hoping to evolve that department into. And that's why the reason for the looking to change it from a five to a six, um, was one to get, you know, to, to adjust it, how that office was reporting and doing stuff. And then also so that we had enough money in our schedule to actually attract anybody. Because with the money that we had, we weren't getting anybody. Right. Well, so, one of the first times that we met with you as a personnel board and we said, well, how can we help you? What can we do? And you described looking at the job descriptions, talking to people, making sure that they matched 
looking yeah. at the salary schedule, making sure that it was equitable with other surrounding towns. Yes. And we all said, great, we'll try. Yeah. But then we then started. Realize, we we kind of realized, I think, <laughs> when we started to dig into it, it's that a we massive didn't really, it's such a massive undertaking that we don't have the time, really, or, the knowledge, time yeah. or the knowledge to do it appropriately. Yeah, and I that, get that if someone could come in and do that well, we could help define and help yeah. describe what that should look like right. and work with that person as the personnel board. That makes sense. And then once they are finished, we could help make sure that that tool gets effectively Implement. applied yes, and exactly. implemented and, yeah. and that it's used. But right now, it's sort of, we can't really create and implement the tool at the same time. Yeah. We just, no, that makes sense. We just don't have the, the time or the knowledge right. to do that. And right. so, that that was our recommendation that came out of a, quite a couple meetings of discussion yeah. over this. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of what to do, how can we tackle this, how can we help this go more smoothly. So do we know who, like, who is, I don't know if Don Jacobs was the right fit for us last time or it was just our. There's more than one vendor you so can do that with. So maybe look at other vendors. I didn't know who's out there. To Brian Smith just did one, so I could give him a call and okay. ask him. Um, what I would ask is that the board agree to, if, if that's using the recommendation from the personnel board, um, we, we would need, if this is the direction you want to go, we need some idea of what it would cost based on the number of our employees, and we need to put it in a budget. Right. because. Really, we shouldn't make people wait too long, right. but it's not just looking at job descriptions, it's also looking at compensation plan. Where do people right. fit in the market? Mm -hmm. yeah. And it just so happens, when I talked to Skip <coughs> yesterday, I told him we did this in Ashfield several years ago, yeah. and discovered that we were way off base in terms of market, um, and the job descriptions didn't sync with what municipal government requirements should be right. you know so yeah. this it's a it's good a opportunity to go back and revisit mm -hmm. with somebody who understands the particular environment that municipalities work within mm -hmm. that their people work within right. Right. so because it's its own animal mm -hmm. it is i don't think that you know it, it will necessarily be easy to come up with a with a a number of how much is this going to cost until we've taken a, uh, a better look at it. But that doesn't mean we don't need to put something right. in the budget. And yeah. we, can, we can put something in the budget. And yep. if we say it's going to cost 10 bucks and it turns out that it's 20, yeah. then we can worry about that at that point in time. If it comes right. back at five, we're fine. Right. Uh, I agree with that. Okay. So, and I guess, you know, I'll throw out a number. And a lot, a lot of this is just throwing out a number. I would stick in twenty-five thousand bucks and and see where that took us, uh, or where that takes us. Yeah. Is that I didn't know. What yeah. We let me let me ask Brian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What well, Irving just did, just because I know him and I right. can, you know, I can also put this out with my colleagues in Stam. But yeah. Um, let me ask Brian just so okay. I get an idea of the time frame he he had, mm -hmm. and then get back to you in two Perfect. weeks. That's great. And that, that will at least put the, the money in the budget. There will be a line right. item or there will be an account for it. Um, and that's, that's what we do. Yes. Give it 25000 just to get it in the budget as mm -hmm. an item, and then and we'll then circle back around it. to do a little more yeah. drilling down. Uh, so what, in the meantime, are we going to do about um, our building inspector? Who's going to be a commissioner, full commissioner? I he's guess made it you know, through. I'm going to be a smart ass here, but that's something you should have thought of before, frankly. Because we don't have the, the, what we need to really evaluate that position. We don't have a job description to start with. Well, he a back complete a job description. Back a little bit on that. We, we did do yep. the evaluation. We did have a number system figured out. We figured it was a grade six. I don't know where on the step he would fall uh, at moving right. to a grade six, but and we should have that information to be able to rewrite that job well, description. If, if you have if but you have something that said it's a grade more, six and it's the same job description that no, five isn't. years well it isn't. But, it I, isn't. but you're right. You only had what was. Yeah, and that isn't fair. So yeah. we need to get And it says right. a grade five on it. Yeah. It's no, flat sure out it says grade five. It says the same thing that it yeah. So but it, it shouldn't. It should have been rewritten and it and it didn't get done. So we gotta figure that out. Is he currently grade five step seven? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I, I, was I think that we were supposed to go up to a grade six. It was, 
whatever 3661, grade six in my mind. I'm not sure if that's it. It's grade six. Step five. That's step five. Yeah, great. Maybe it's grade six, step five. Is what we agreed to when he passed. He's passed. Well, when you two say agreed to, I understand. I, as we, far as I could tell from, from the discussions that we had last night, there is no agreement out there that says anything other than what, where, where the building inspector is. At the no, moment. there wasn't a written agreement. It was, it was if he passed the test. We, so, we didn't put it in writing, Skip. We did not put it in writing. It, we, yeah, we, but it does. Need we to asked be in to hide. We asked. Mm -hmm. We asked him to come. We asked him to have a successful probationary period, and we said that we were going to do this. And so, but based on what, I guess, is my... Well, I think it was based on... Well, it was, well, it was based it, on what the market was talking about for, for money and we, we went were through the per, And we went through the personnel committee for months before, Skip. This, I'm not saying it's your fault, but I'm just saying that we did go through the procedure. We did go to the personnel board, and they did approve it. And so we did go through the right procedure. They recommended it, rather. Yes. yes. So, right. They recommended the grade six, but they didn't say, like, he should be at this spot. I think right. we were just looking at that. I mean, if right. you remember. We were just right. trying to come up with the position. Just well, the we position. just evaluated right. the yeah. position. Yeah. Because we were matter a lot looking at yeah. a building commissioner, not a building inspector. Correct. Same difference. Correct. Grade five, no, step not. seven. It's not skip. It's not skip. You need What's a building. What did you say? You need a building commissioner, period. I know, but there's different requirements for a building commissioner as opposed to a building inspector That's in right. the Commonwealth. There is. There is a difference. Well, he was hired as a buildings commissioner, I mean, as a building inspector, and he will be a building commissioner. Once he passes it. And, and the tests are hard. I mean, he they, passed they, two, they usually take a couple of times. And, you yeah. Know. He, well, he, so he's, he's working been, on it. So we're not yeah. telling yeah. him yeah. he'll yeah. never be a grade six. We're just saying wait until we follow the Cur the c what we yes, feel is the we already promised wise him procedure. that we going to do this. Well, we have until June. This is no, well, no, because yeah. when he finished his probationary period and he took one test, we were supposed to be doing this. He's already taken two tests. No, no, he was supposed to be the commissioner once he's a commissioner and he passed his yeah. his probation period, which he has, and he's been wonderful. But he had to become a commissioner before we were paying him uh, step six. I mean, a great test. And that, you know, I didn't know if it was like when he did that or if it was fiscal year. I mean, I, so I just did want him to be a commissioner and have his. I, I'm pretty sure we, we just, him. he was just taking the It wasn't a one test thing. I well, minutes, what yeah. I'm thinking is if he's a town employee, he would, his, his interest would be that the town would be protected. And it could put the town at risk if it appears that he's getting a raise and other people who are doing. No, it was a other job that we aren't. hired when we hired him and when he came. Right, but it would, from our, from our discussion at the personnel board, it to to not have a system that's that's more objective and less um, idiosyncratic per person. I know puts but you at risk for getting sued somebody is so for hard. sex discrimination because there's other people that have positions in the town that could that could say, well, why aren't why am I not a grade this so it, it, it protects the town to no but the that's personnel why it, that's but, why yeah. the, we went to the personnel committee they already voted grade six but, but just for his position in, in in particular but not really looking at the whole system no no no, no. yeah no we, I, I'm my, agreeing that we need to look at the whole thing my point was what did they base that decision on and I haven't seen anything right. to indicate what it was that's based on. We need to get him the, the, we the need to information know. was out there. First thing we, we need went to do to the argument. is what we did all in that meeting needs to be written into the job description right. yes. so that you guys can get that, and then it obviously yeah. looks different. And then that step hasn't happened yet, and, and that's our fault. Your, so we'll your get on office that. would then grade that position. Correct. Yes. Okay. Well, we, we yeah, it was graded already, but we'll look well, at it again and make sure. Based, we'll see what based the, on what the based on the based on the job description. That's what it was. Yeah, it was based on that meeting that Ray Loom yeah, was at. Yeah. And we came up with a, a new job description, and that information never got written out. The thing that's it's still maybe I just haven't been around very long, but the thing that still kind of confuses me is how you designate the step because. The grading is designated by the system Correct. and by the job description, and we yep. did talk about a six. Yep. But if he came in at step five, because it hadn't been updated yet, that's it. But step seven, that's 3246. If you go up to step to grade six, you have to go all the, I mean, you're, you're still, you're not at step 
you're not at step one. Step grade six, step one is all the way down at twenty seven. Right. No. So the determination of the step. It doesn't is mean it doesn't mean you go from five. You don't go from a five to one. You don't go from a grade five, a grade five step ten to a grade six step one and have the money increase. You can go backwards. Right. You know, so it's all about backwards. Yeah, you right. can't you go cannot backwards, go backwards. But it, but it, yeah, you so have to what, fall in that what, line. What, what the, the problem is is that what the market is is different than our compensation scale. That's why we were looking at the accountant. We are underpaying our town accountant, and we're so worried that we're going to lose her. So that's why. And she's wonderful, and she's taking on more responsibility. So yeah. somehow we need to look at that one first. Right. And she's also down on a grade five. Right. Yeah. right. She is. Yep. One of the reasons that, that if you don't mind me Please. explaining a bit, is when Skip and I were talking, um, it may be that the market and the evaluations that come out of reviewing the job descriptions give you a different type of system. It may, it may compress it. I've yeah. seen that happen. Yeah. So it, there's many things that can happen with it. But what you need is somebody who use, uses a certain, uh, certain metrics and evaluative criteria to come back with information. And to some extent, that's... That gives everybody a fair shot at it. Mm -hmm. Right. Second day here. <laughs> right. Just, just keep that in mind. Second right. day here. I but know. It's not. Uh, I, it, it is uh, to the points that are being discussed. Retainage is, is very much an issue in municipal government right now, particularly for positions where these people are aging out and there's a, there's, there's a significant gap. There's a massive. In, um, uh, we saw at MMA. Yes. There's a massive. Um, they're spending. There's a massive retirement of for to financial just advertise people. to get people into. Yes. There's a whole website that just was launched. A whole ad yeah. campaign just to get people into municipal government. So they can't get people to because fill people these jobs. don't. We we aren't. We the associations that we work with aren't necessarily doing a great job of of attracting people because they're not marketing themselves. And this came out of a study that was headed by the lieutenant governor, and it was a workforce skills gap study. And it's been out there for a couple of years, but the mobility to actually start to, to focus on that mm -hmm. took a while to build. Mm -hmm. And so there's various things going on, not only in the county, but in the state. One of the things that Deerfield can do is go back and review its classification compensation plan. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, it sounds like there's some gaps here that maybe there's a bigger conversation with yeah. some of the employees. I see that there's there's things I don't know, sure. <laughs> so bear with me. But it's an oppor there's two opportunities here mm -hmm. that I'm listening to you guys talk about. So I think first more conversation and get it. maybe maybe I I do think that. The class comp thing is really something yeah. that would be useful, not only for for the financial aspects of planning, but it's been a long time since yeah. people were evaluated and and mm -hmm. you know measured mm -hmm. in a marketplace. So, how long? Does I think it they would appreciate that to find some, you know, to put out bids and <coughs> find someone and have them. Depends on do who it. you use. Yeah, it depends. You months. need a scope of work and it. Right. What you first need is an idea of how much it's going to cost mm -hmm. in order to figure out where you fit in the procurement tiers and then gather information from people who are doing these. And the MMHR, which is the listserv that, uh, that she and I are on, we see this, I swear, every week mm -hmm. where somebody's doing some sort of evaluative But you just critique. can't find people. So and it's really competitive. And I... The last three years, they've lose. all sat and listened to that at the MMA uh, conference. And, and I just don't want to lose. I mean, Bob is really good. Yeah. I don't want to lose him. He's been doing great. I, I think the job but what you're saying is important. Yeah. What did you say? The job was advertised as a grade six. And, and right, and we hired him at five okay. because, he, because he didn't have his... Second day. <laughs> because he didn't, because have, he didn't his, have his, his license thing yet. yet. Yeah. So, right. so when will he have his we license? Plan to, we plan, I mean, that was my honest intention. I didn't know where on the schedule, but we planned to move him to a grade six because, you know, one, to retain good help and be close in the marketplace and 
you know, just move that, yeah, move that forward. That. So I think I mean, we'll get there. I just, I think it. Skip is right that he looked at something that didn't change. He's going, why am I doing this? Well, I we'll work with our, yeah. our staff now to make sure that that gets rewritten at least so you had something to look yeah. at to him. Well, and then in the long the term. Other, the other thing that I want to you know, and, and we don't have anyone here with that kind of personnel background. So, you know, my knowledge of personnel is pretty limited. But one of the things that I have learned over the years is that if you have a, a system uh, that each one of your jobs has a job description and then based on that job description, you evaluate all of those, I'm gonna call them accountabilities because that's the one, the name that, so here's a list of accountabilities that that person is responsible for. And then you evaluate each one of those with a point system. Correct. And when you finish, you add up the points. Yep, that's what we did. And we and, did, And yeah. that's, so when you add them up, that's based on those points. So if you have this person over here who has 575 points, yep. and this person over here who has completely different job, but their points are 575 points. Right. Then both of those people end up on the same grade. Great. Correct. Correct. They have so much responsibility for staff. That's right. And they have so much for That's this right. so much for that. But my problem is it doesn't reflect what the market is bearing. When someone well, I think that can get adjusted, though, right? I mean, because you can, once you Not have really. your thing, once you have your grade, then we, then we match the money part. The compensation piece. The, to yes. other towns There's and this two and that. Components. You know, That's make sure it matches the market. Components. So then, no, then it we doesn't. can it's meet based, that. You've got, you've got a grade and you may need, you may, there may be enough of these people over here out there looking for jobs that you can bring a person in a grade one or at step one, two, or three. This job, you may have to bring that person in at a step five or six. Because the market just is because that's what the market bears. But in the final analysis, when they're here for sufficient numbers of years, they're going to both be paid the same. They're at the that's step what 10. the job. Yeah. That's what you know. The, is. the evaluation says they're supposed to get. That's pretty common. It's particularly common <clears throat> in in a large organization. The larger the organization, the the. I just don't want to lose them. The I less you, the, no, it's not like we're not going to do it. I think I think there's steps to it. I think we get finish that process that was started to make sure we have that that application. The job description is written to to match what we had all looked at in that position, and then figure out where that falls on the scale, and then budget for that, and and, and then but then go on to a larger project of looking at you know our whole organization and make sure that's done correctly and we're, we're compensating right and you know I know Brenda was doing an about I think you would ask them you know tell me what you're doing for a job somebody and she was filling out a what mm -hmm. questionnaire questionnaire we, yeah. Yeah. about we, what we your tasks are now versus what you did you know four or five years ago so uh, that's great work I mean that's, and that's so and that's work. what whoever you we end up with, the town ends up hiring is going to need to know yes yeah. So, yep. and they Some need to rewrite that job description. Yep. With, with whomever, and you know, I think the person take, is doing it or. It'll take input from all of us of what, what do we want that person doing today that maybe we didn't want them doing before. Or, you know, there's, there's mm -hmm. this board and the personnel board to kind of talk about well, how we want it to see it. And there kind of are, there's, first, you need to know what they're doing. Yes, and, exactly. and what a standard job description for that particular type of job is. Yep. Because and that the, gives you a framework. And right. what the competitive pay is exactly. in the region. Exactly. That's yeah. why it's a two-step process. Yeah. You do job descriptions, and then you fit what you decide for your job descriptions into an evaluation of the market. Yeah. And the market isn't necessarily one place. We've discovered that over, yes. the, over the years. Right. Yeah, you've got to kind of reach out. It can't be just like... It can't just well, be Franklin County. I, no, I, it's be I will give you an example of, yeah, of one of the uh, situations that you can have. And I'm going to throw it, and I didn't pick the teaching. But you've seen, you've seen the ad on TV where the, the person who's waiting on tables is saying they're getting, I guess, an art history degree. And, and somebody else at the table, I think... It's a guy called Ad, and, and and what are you going to do for a living? Uh, so, but your teacher 
starts off at whatever they start off at, and it's regardless of what, what they're teaching, they can be teaching art history, or they can be teaching physics, or they can be teaching math, or they can be teaching English, they all start at the same, and yet I think we'd all agree that the job market, if they went out into the job market in some in some job other than Private teaching, sector, then different. some person is going to start here and the other person is going to start here. Yeah. And you know we can argue about whether it's fair or not, but it is right. what it is. It's true. It's complicated. It's really it's the one thing that in this. It's as being a selectman, it's the one I, I, you know, area. The rest of the stuff you can figure out. This is the hard. This is hard. It's people's pay. It's what, it how is. you evaluate it and is. appreciate them and, and retain them. Uh, you want and you want to deliver good services to the residents of the town at a at a number that a residents can afford. Right. You know. And I mean, the conversation that we had last night, as sort of the official motion that we put forward, was that we didn't think that job descriptions, job positions should sort of be haphazardly regraded. Right. And, and that, that until there was a more comprehensive look at mm -hmm. how it, the job descriptions and where the grading was, including looking at comparable towns, this is such a strange, this is sort of an oddball example because we did kind of, we did do some regrading. We did. Before, but it was, it was, it, it was. wasn't fully, Finished. Didn't, it, didn't it didn't get completed. It didn't get completed, so right. it was sort of started and not completely mm -hmm. rubber stamped, and so it's in a little bit of it is. We'll, a gray we'll, area. We'll clean that up and get that going and then work on the bigger, <coughs> bigger issue here. Would it be um, appropriate or helpful to check in with the, the person who's now the building inspector commissioner and, and let him know well, what's you know, going one on? The, one yeah, of the yeah, ma that, main problems I have is that the previous personnel board came back with a recommendation that it was a grade six job, and that's why it was advertised as that. Mm -hmm. and, so there and is but then you didn't again. find someone that David, had yeah, what is license. it based on? I don't know, so but they yeah. came back with the recommendation, and that's why the job. Right. The problem is. But he didn't have his that license. Right. So that was what it was. Correct. Mm -hmm. and right. they, just, they have not gotten that step and that's our fault so yeah. we'll get that to but you. it's not really a, anything to do with the fact that the job was graded at six it's the person that was hired didn't have the qualifications that the grade Correct. six job and we, and required we, and didn't our have all the was that right. once so you're, they had you're being them, creative and flexible and yeah, trying one, to make it work yeah right, once, right. and once they got that we yeah. would, we would move them up and so that that's kind mm -hmm. of what our intention was because it was it was going to retain a good person hard to get out there and it was kind of a it was a work work but work around in the meantime and and then and then we truly wanted to maybe run that department a little different so um, I wanted it to be more a little tech savvy you know online permitting there's a lot mm -hmm. I would like to see out of that department that yeah we isn't don't want quite there we don't want online. so and, and I was going to say I think we'd probably beaten this to death enough yeah. tonight. No, so. it's good. It's <laughs> Why don't we discussion. get you some information? Yeah, but the problem yeah, is we'll yeah. communicate with, for with the building commission. Yeah, I are we I want to talk to him? him? I just is he going to leave so. like tomorrow if he finds uh, out that he's I mean, not going to be grabbing that? No, 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 no. <laughs> That's yeah, a significant fact, I think. He was when he passed the first test. I have never heard the first test. I heard commissioner. That's what I expected. And I know it takes a little while to get done, but... Yeah, you have I mean, me unless I'm vote, out so to I'm lunch, but I, I, I we were hired them at the first test, at probation plus the first test. No, I never. I don't <laughs> know that anywhere. Do I would not. So, so you guys, whether you argue, can we leave? Take no. <laughs> no, because this is, <laughs> you don't want this is an important time frame thing. Because you know, right. I don't want him to feel like we're not valuing him. I think yeah, do we have a meeting on the 18th? Is, based based um, on, I have yeah, a question. Why don't, like why don't, yeah. why don't we let their town administrator speak to speak to him and yeah, make sure that we get this on the right? Yeah. Yeah. Why don't I give it, why don't I chat with him? Because it'll be a good opportunity for me to get to know him a little bit. Mm -hmm. He lives down the street from me, but I've never met him. Met him here. I met him here. I met him yesterday. Scheduling a meeting for the But yeah. So let me let me take his temperature and that would be good. I think that'd be important. Yeah, factor. Absolutely. And the timing of doing this sort of bigger project compared to the timing of him getting his license is also interesting. Well, what I want to do is I want to go back and look at the hiring process. So let me look at that too, because it'll give me a better idea 
of okay I make a motion that perfect. we table the discussion until our meeting on the 18th okay can we at least agree that we're going to put some money in the budget to yes. yeah, hire no, somebody to come in and, I, I mean, I and that's I all think we, we need. All feel I don't like need a vote taken at this point. No, no, no I, I completely agree with that. Yeah, I we'll just I'm take just, the money from the finance. I just don't want. <laughs> to. I don't. I don't want. <laughs> like I said, I, I always say I, I, I know about sixty thousand bucks. Like right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right here. Yeah. Yeah. I think it'd be great no. to have them vote to put um, it on budget. So I'll turn my papers back in. Can I ask a question? To Skip's question. Um, are you ready to take a vote to actually implement putting money into the budget to start to take care of this for the next for FY 21? Yes. Yeah. I don't know where it's getting pulled well, from, but yeah, I mean that's the intention, and we could. It's it's a, it's a one shot finance. deal. So you know, that money, I don't get worried about whether that money. Well, in fact, it's basically good example of using free cash. Could be right. an article. You're it saying. could be an article in yeah, itself. Okay, that's fine. It, it should be a. I would just article. like I would make to make that motion. I'll second it. Um, okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So, so thank you. What time is our meeting on the 18th? <laughs> so that's the question. She and I have been working on that. Um, Kevin has. So this is to talk about several of the bigger items yeah. on your li budget lists. Yeah. Um, thank you all for coming. Thank, thank you guys. You. Appreciate it. I will let you it's know good. as soon as I find <laughs> everybody's emails. <laughs> <laughs> um, so thank Kevin ha actually. Because he's working on a particular certification program through Maya, um, he has to take a class on the 18th. He can't get here for six o'clock. He probably can get here after seven. So I said to him I would run it by you guys. Then we talked, we had the meeting um, with the Council on Aging and I talked to Christine and she has a meeting. We asked her to come in, but she has a finance committee meeting in Waitley at six o'clock on the 18th. On the 18th. So okay. what, we're, what we were talking on about. The 20th, so. Thank you. I don't Hi, know guys. you, but I will. Thank you. We're leaving. <laughs> Bye. -bye. So, I'm, I'm available Monday and Tuesday. Monday. Yeah. Um, so what Friday, I was, I'm instead of not Monday, changing Monday, it, Monday, what Friday. I wanted to know is in the budget that you're developing, because I'm walking into this cold. Sure. If we can push back about an hour for both of them, what we could talk about other things, right. but what what is it, what besides, you know, DPW, because I know he's got a bunch of things brewing. He and I talked this morning. Yeah. Here's where I need you to chime in, Diana, because yep. I don't know, you know, what else is on that docket, what was discussed for that meeting. So what do you have for them to do? For, oh, well, for the budget. For the well, so the idea, I think, you know, specifically it was mostly public works. Kevin had asked you and right. reached out to you several times individually and collectively to give him some input on his budget and his capital items and stuff. And because there is such a, um, you know, we've had so many dis different discussions about the outcomes of public works, what the expectations are, I think it would be really great if you guys, um, you know, got in alignment with that and gave him some support on what you think you collectively I as the chief operators yeah, yeah but you collectively as a board would like to give him mm -hmm. direction yep. so that he also feels supported when he gets in front of the finance but committee and then he gets he in front of the capital plan not till like seven not till at, at least seven, seven. Yeah. Um, I, I, otherwise he could I meet on the 21st make, I, I have to be up in Heath at seven so I have a board okay. of health so meeting that doesn't up in work Heath. okay so another day, maybe. So David. another day. The problem is, is he wanted, I guess, everything needed to be settled before he goes. He's going to the FinCom on the 24th, I okay. think. So, so he was sort of hoping to see you before you that. Can I can do it, but you have to answer to the redhead. <laughs> oh. Gotcha. So what right. time? I, I don't know uh, how you've been no working these. <laughs> so. What's that? I don't know how you've been working, fitting these meetings into your regular schedule. We just wing it. Yeah. You know, however what we can manage. Time they have so, so many meetings, they just try to figure out when they um, can get together. Are, are you working that day at all, Dave? Which day? Friday? Friday. Well, what 21st? about Monday the 24th? Just meet earlier than the Finance Committee. What time's Finance Committee? Oh, you can't do it. Um, can't do Six o'clock. Um, okay. Because no. no. we have a sewer meeting on the 21st at 830. Can we just do it right afterwards? No. Oh, no, you no. can't. It cannot. Okay. So if we do it on the 24th, what time could we do it? I think um, David just said there. you can't. You can't do it the 24th. Um, I have a 530 350th already. And I have an okay, earlier the 20th. Mass Watershed Council meeting. So it looks like the oh, 20th and nobody can do the 20th? 
I can come in earlier. I can. What about you, David? I don't think David can. Oh, what day? 20th. 20th. It's a Thursday. I have a SCEMS meeting at 6. Yeah, I saw that on the calendar. Yeah. I'm starting to put a calendar together. Dave has one, too. Well, I can't make that one. You, you're oh. going to have to take my place. Okay. Because I have to work. Okay. Okay. Crap. I was going to talk to you about that after the meeting. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. And the 19th was a no. That's the one that he can't make. You can't make the 19th or the 20th. Okay. All right. And the 18th, we, you can't make. That's the 17th or 18th. 17th is a no. It's a holiday. Uh, 14th or the 13th? Oh, wait, no, we can't. That's we have tomorrow. A sure. That's tomorrow. We don't <laughs> have time not, for that. Carol can't do the 14th either because well, we don't have time. Not me. Oh, you guys. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we have a meeting tomorrow. I don't know. It was a good, I mean, maybe we should just put it on yeah. the next agenda. Yeah, we have yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe we can get the finance committee. Maybe to, we should ask the finance yeah. committee to, to rearrange to, that. because to bump him and put him on the next yeah, agenda. Yeah. Because yeah. we, that. you know, can you, um, you need you to all, have a chance to talk to him. Could, could you all meet earlier on the 26th? Because we have the 26th. So at 6 o'clock, could we meet at 5 o'clock with mm -hmm. Kevin? And then yep. maybe the finance committee could meet the 27th or something like that? Or their next like meeting, have, whenever their next meeting is? Did they have a second meeting on the 27th? No, I thought they did have another meeting after the 24th, though, but I guess not. So Are they planning on wrapping the budget up by March? No, they're no, not going to. No, okay, no, then. No, no, no. They can just There'll bump be more it. Time. But I was thinking for Kevin could come in maybe. And discuss it. it. Yeah, at 5 o'clock. Okay. Five o'clock on the 26th, because right. we're going to be here anyway. Yeah. So how do you want to deal with these other, because the senior center is also one of those things that I think after sitting in the meeting, talking to Diana, um, it maybe well, needs a little bit of attention. Why don't we, what does why don't, senior, senior, center. senior center, some of these, some of the projects that are sort of outliers well, there. Why don't we do A little this? bit. We've gone over, the BOO has approved that budget already for the senior center, so I can speak to it if you want. Well, I guess in terms of the Council on Aging as well, I mean, I don't know if you want to, you know, there is a pretty active council you as mean well. You want to put money into that? Well, I don't know. I don't just want to make sure that the that you guys are, are well engaged with what's going on, you know, with this yeah. with well, the senior center facility and, yeah. you know, the Council well, on Aging. We're supportive of, of making sure that they get more money to do mm -hmm. more things. The senior center? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we've asked for, so what, I don't know what the discussion is. Yeah, I mean, today, I guess you could give an about transportation. About yeah. I can speak to all that. Um, all three towns have passed, or the BOO has passed there, and it's to take it to the finance committee now, but we had um, added a few more hours to, Diane, uh, to Christina to make her um, a 40 hour week. Um, we have uh, looked at making sure that the money that we have for maintenance is, is accurate. Um, let's see, we put 5,500 in for transportation, which is, you know, talked about four trips, but we're looking at using that as seed money to work with the uh, FRTA to re actually get a driver and a bus and a, like, a, so we're, we're working to get more, squeeze more out of the FRTA to get services here. Mm -hmm. Like Berninston has, they budget five, $55,000 a year. They have a bus, they have a driver that coordinates all those bus trips and FRTA reimburses them. So I like that deal. So I'd like to figure out how we can do a portion of that deal, even if we bring this $5,000 to the table to help them offset some of their costs. So, yep. so that's kind of why we added that. And, and all three towns feel like we need that transportation to get our, our residents to the center to doctor's appointments, and then we have this Sunderland and Deerfield, yeah. Sunderland and Deerfield, yeah. this yeah. PBTA and the FRT. So we're trying to work that out. So um, I'm, I talked to Bob Decker, and Bob, we're no, pulling their Bob their up to maybe talk to Tina and just trying to too. figure so, out. So, because so, we got to figure out, because I, I would talk to Joe again mm -hmm. about how do we get Sunderland people up here. I think we make, I think we, you know, what we could do in the meantime is make it difficult and say, Let's get two Let's bands go going to the same I mean, place. Three the people are on the Sunderland bus and ten people are on Deerfield and Waitley. And pretty soon PBTA is going to realize, why don't we just give them the three riders and make it easy. I, I just yeah. think in the long run okay. it makes physical sense for everybody involved for them to work together. Mm -hmm. I know. So that's going to be a good thing. You know, it's so going to take a little time to yeah. do that. But 
He's not going to like me. So that's sense. why we added the 5000 to start getting this transportation thing dealt with. Because it's Good. one of the most important things. I, 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 I think really, and, and the idea that people should be able to get down to Springfield with no mm -hmm. trouble and stuff yep. like that is really important. So that's kind of, but I can speak to that a little bit. And if Christina wants to come, I can. So okay. that's my, that was my question. Right. Do you just want to, because there's other budgets that I think you guys should probably be talking about based yep. on what Diana's telling sure. me. But if we can't fit it into the 18th, I, whatever happens, I think we have to ask finance committee to move Kevin. Off. Move, move Kevin, Kevin. That's fine. Because he needs a chance to really yeah, we'll work through. First. work through that um, yeah. well and, it, and it's really stressful for him to be spending all day and then come here and especially at 7 at night 7 at night yeah, and we don't even know what the weather yeah. so if we can do the 26th at 5 then we'll just why do don't that we do then. the 26th at 5 so okay. we'll let Christina know yeah. yep. Yep. Yeah. Christina. yeah if she can come yeah Christina and if she can fine otherwise Trevor can give the update it yep. sounds like okay. I, I think mostly I, you know I've been working with the COA and the three town group for um, you know, a little over a year, and I think that they just want to feel that, um, you know, not only are their current operations supported, but that there's some forward progress for oh, them, yeah. not just in the facilities, but even just to be more coalesced in their own, you know, ex operations on their part, currently. And I'm glad they're, so. they're doing it. That's what we need. Yeah, happy Thank to you. support them for sure. They've done so much for our community for so many years. That's right. yeah. Well, I, I think it's important that we really review some of this stuff. So. Yep, sure. Thank you, Trevor. I appreciate you hanging in there. I know it hasn't been really easy. Oh, to get it's support. fun. Oh, yeah. No, I enjoy it. I really do. Well, like it's, as long things. as you're moving forward, it we feels are. like it's we worth are. it. We are. There's good people yeah. working hard to make things right. And I know. We'll get it there. It just takes, takes a little time. All right. Um, so are, are, so we are we, are we going to meet on the 18th or not? Just I guess, I guess no then. I think 26. we'll just go to the 26th. It sounds okay. like it's going to be good. too much. If you need something else, just let us know. I mean, I think. Does that sound right? Yeah. yeah. It sounds, okay. Sounds. Okay. I think that makes sense. Um, and so the only other item was on here, request for permission from Lori Basada to ask Greenfield Savings Bank to sponsor an electrical car charging station at the, on the Leary lot. So I'm in well, favor she, of this, however... I just am nervous about going ahead with like a charging station there when we have not done this big plan of what right. we want our town to look like. Right. And and, and even just even just like. more than that, even just more break it down even a little more simply, you'd have to do a little more work in the Leary lot oh, before you could start There's to no do stuff do because we've no, already had That's fine. That's why we've I had, asked her to yeah. bring this to the board. So I'll just yeah. call her and and let her know that we're definitely we're in interested. Favor. We're definitely yes. interested. Favor, yes. But just hold off a little yes. bit because no, we're move on it, yeah. right? Yeah. Because exactly. Move, yeah. so, so we have a discussion. survey going, and we have um, we've just we have had a couple um, constituent complaints and concerns about the condition of the lot during yeah. the weather yeah. events we've had, and we nice. haven't really been able to maintain it. So, so we before we can start really, you know, um, sort of promoting people parking there in this way, we need yeah. to be able to maintain it. And what I wanted to discuss, I don't know. If meeting's been long, so I don't know if I said this already, but um, I, my meeting last night with the town common mm -hmm. committee yeah. is that I would like to request a, to go out for an RFQ to hire um, or interview landscape architects to look at the common for setting up our pathways and benches and fountain. Yeah. And so we would do assessment a lot like we just did at the frontier when we looked at designer selection, architect selection for the track. We would do either, you know, the FERCOG did something unless our town administrator has the time to put together an RFQ for our board to look at, oh, yeah. um, to, you know, to kind of put an advertisement out there. They came in, we interviewed us, uh, you know, we looked at all the applications, there were 11, we interviewed three, we picked one. We would like to have somebody move forward to, and hopefully, to get funding by, you know, through town meeting, to do that forty thousand to design the common, and then also work with Ty and Bond since they're doing the complete streets. I'd just like them to zoom out the lens a little bit and pull in Elm Street, the Leary lot, Sugarloaf, and North and South Main just a little bit to go. What is our master plan for downtown? truly what's it going to look like so that when we do these complete streets things we're all building to the right 
picture. Does that so, make sense? Uh, so yes. Uh, so you want, even though we have not finalized or really gotten any deal yet from DOT, you want us to incorporate Sugarloaf as if we mm -hmm. have already taken it. Yeah. Okay. Just kind of that makes just so total that we sense. have like a ten-year plan for what we yeah. truly want the downtown to look like in the long run. Just, just so the people know that it. I mean, I honestly feel it could be four to five years. Absolutely, uh, okay. it's, it's a long haul. But at least that, that way, that when we when we then zero it back into the common and the walkways, we're connected. fully aware that oh, no, like no, no, the no, sidewalk's going to be makes... not in front of Chess Lakes. It's going to be where it needs to be at the corner. Maybe we get rid of or expand that island and stop the, if you come up park, stop your left-hand turn. You know, people coming that way are gonna cruise up the street for now. And then we can build more of a landing strip so that people could come from the Leary lot over to the landing strip and then onto the common. Because the two other ones are just not safe. And so just a bigger kind of layout. As long as people understand that we don't own sugar loaf right and we're not taking it over until everything's been upgraded of course. and but just a, a and it could be you know four to five years so what i wanted yeah. to do Optimism. four or five years we might even get our survey back yes <laughs> so we just maybe is that an rfp is that something that wants to be done out of here like we are the, uh I'm trying to think of her name up at the first. Andrea Woods. Andrea Woods. So she, we. I, I what did I talk to her? Talk I was. I just said. I just said to Diana that that's not something I've been. I'm up to speed on. Right. So, so it's one of those we, things we were planning on talking to each other about. Wonderful. Just see about that, and then maybe we we you know I think she was I don't know five thousand five hundred bucks or thousand bucks or something. She did the, you know, she just kind of got us started and we're yeah. going to take it from there. And yeah, so, she does that. I don't know what the background is on it. So and I, I can help. And if she's already done something, she, she'll. Yeah, she'll, yeah. We could she'll get me up to speed. What is kind this of match what we did at the. What is the funding? What do you. What, so, so how am I going to pay for any of that? Yeah. So. <laughs> good question. <laughs> so last night's meeting, we felt that going to the CPA for funding right away isn't like we just don't have the actual number and we right. don't have an actual plan so i'm i'm requesting forty thousand in this year's budget okay. through through um CIPC. put on the cipc and uh and then um funding source would either be capital stabilization or some, some funding source i haven't figured out yet what but i eventually would like to have this all construction stuff paid for by cpa funds but the initial part of doing the design, I haven't figured out where where yet. But I, you know, I need some help kind of thinking that through with finance committee and and us to kind of figure out. Well, I don't even know. I just need a number. Like, how much does it cost to design that thing? Mm -hmm. And then with the complete street stuff, how much is, would tie and bond charge to just do a kind of a? And it doesn't need to be exact, but just a larger view of where we want this downtown to look like in 10 years when we're done with everything. Okay. I drive through, you know, I say this all the time, but I drive through uh, Great Barrington, Lenox, Pittsfield, all these towns every day, and they have beautiful sidewalks, nice street lighting, little brick, curb, rain gardens. They've got it all done. It's all been done, so it shouldn't be that hard to figure out. I'm going to pop in a lot of these town halls in the next couple weeks and just say, who did it? Who's they your may have had a, a bigger plan. I mean, sometimes do. you use yes. a master plan to do that. Correct. So, and, and I'm wondering who their engineer was. Who, you know, who, who designed all this for you? What? How did you go about it? When was the last time the master plan was done? Over ten years ago. Two thousand. Right? Last well, time that I made the effort to do it. Was it right after I? It mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. up right after I came. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, it's ready to be updated. It's it's, it's yeah. twenty. It's, it's, it's twenty it's, years. So, I think We're, it's twenty, not ten years. It's been fresh, at twenty years. Fresh ideas here, and we want to just kind of update. The problem that is, you got, it's, it's much massive. more complicated than originally. It's just like the open space plan. I chaired how many renewals of the open space plan. Chaired the master plan twice, but to do the new master plan is so many more requirements. It's 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 you can't do it as a volunteer anymore. You just can't. It's this huge yeah. amount of technical work. Right. Mm -hmm. Doesn't the COG do a good portion of that now? 
Well, you got to have money. Yeah, they charge you. you, you well, I know they charge you, but <laughs> you got to have like ten or fifteen thousand dollars. Oh 20, gosh, more than that. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking master plans way more. 20, yeah, twenty five. Yeah, it's like a lot of money over a couple of years. And you go to I finance just want committee to and they're like, crosswalks. I know, but people go. Yeah. People go like. I know. Why I'm are just you? I'm thinking about. No, I know. When no, you go true. to argue for the to the finance committee, why do you want to update the master plan? And they'll say, oh, because it's expired. Well, no, it because be? it'll help us get us mo get money. It right. will help us get money, but then they'll say, well, what money? Mm -hmm. And we don't have anything definitive because new governor doesn't require us to have that master plan before the reason why we did it before is you had to have the master plan before you were allowed to apply for any massachusetts funds you know state funds so sure we're going to do it now you, <laughs> yes. now you have to have different things now you have to have different things but open space and rock is one of he's them he's more interested that you're a certified mvp town mm -hmm. than that you have an open space plan mm -hmm. so that's the kind of I mean, right. every governor has a different... So, right, and I think I just want to comment on that yeah. for a second just because, you know, talking about a master plan, that's so, you know, that's not on the list. It's not on the <laughs> but, list. But I want to say that, you know, you guys have, um, you know, you've made, like I think Carolyn's making a really good point right now. You guys have, have made some choices to be, you know, actively engaged in MVP. That's a huge process. Mm, it is. Um, you know, you've made some choices along the way to be, um, you know, you, you're doing your solar development finally. You know, that's going to be a big project. And we're right at the time. We'll give you an update, but, you know, we're right finalizing the lease. I know, you're going to actually get it, an interconnection agreement, yay. Um, so, I mean, just, you, you know, you have gone down the road on these projects. And the South Deerfield Center project, I was just kind of looking at our projects and seeing sort of how many of them court come together. But, you know, that is, that's here, but it's multi-layered. So Tell I just think, that. you know, you've that's got... I've, thinking, just, I've um, been trying for four years to get, uh, just from day one when I saw that veteran trying to walk across that, that walkway mm -hmm. with his walker to do our annual every year mm -hmm. VA, I mean, the, the Memorial Day celebration, and he can barely make it across because it's not wide enough, it's uneven, tripping and falling, it's, it's a safety hazard, mm -hmm. and it looks horrible. And it's, there's no reason we can't pull something together to make it done. I don't want to design, I do want to design the whole thing down, but I want to start small on it. I mean, if people see us starting to move on something, mm -hmm. it, it shouldn't be that difficult, but it is. It's everything's attached to everything else, and I just really want a larger little look at downtown and say, what do we want to look like in 10 years? And just start there. Just, just get going on that. So, I, I want an RFP to get going on that. We'll talk with. Um, All right. Let me see what she what yep, she did before. Be so, uh, so uh, back to the final question here was that: Do we support her talking to Greenfield Savings? Not yet. I just I don't. I think it's a great idea to do, but until we have that laid out to know what we're going to look like, why you know? I just think it's premature. I think I think Diana said it well. It's. It, it, the lot is not ready for that yet. Right. So no, that's fine. That's yep. fine. Okay. So it's. I'll just call Lori back. Yeah, I'll tell her we're in favor. She's done. We're in favor. She's done it's a lot just of that work. We're, we're just yes. too early. We're not there yet. Yeah. Um, She's done a ton of work on these chargers, and I can't wait to finally have one for her somewhere. But they're for all of us. Because um, of her. Well, the whole energy um, committee is mm -hmm. really great on this. Um, yep. I just had one item for business not anticipated. I forgot to put it on the agenda again. Um, we have, you know, the CPA money is coming through. We we were going to put in for cutting some of the trees that are hanging over in the cemeteries. I, I you know, we had that quote from Bruce from mm -hmm. last year that was too late. Um, you know, Bruce St. Peter's came up with a quote. So um, I was hoping that we could put in another application for the CPA money. To do that, to cut, cut the, tree the trees. Fence back because they're hanging qualifies. over. I don't know who. Yeah. Uh, Bruce said it did. He called. He did all the legwork. He said it, it, it qualifies. Okay. You got until March 2nd, I think, right? To yeah. Put it in. So I just wanted to make sure that if you all were supportive, then we'll just make sure it comes from us instead of, mm -hmm. I mean, Bruce put it in as, as a resident inter, as yeah. a resident because he was concerned that you put money into restoration of the stones and new fencing and I know, then the trees, trees are going to fall on them and wreck them. Which cemetery is he doing? Uh, 
Uh, he there had was three. Several, I think. Yeah, yeah, there was three or four of them that he had, he went around and with Kevin and um, you know looked, looked at, at the, trees. the trees that are in bad shape. Yep. Yeah. So he, so a CPA grant or CPA request application. an application. Yeah. Do you want to also consider doing one for Bruce? Um, Bruce had the numbers. Yeah, we have we have the application from last year. Actually, okay. Bruce sent yeah. it to me. I think. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I think okay. we have the whole application. It just came in late last year. That was the only reason yeah. we didn't get it, yeah. didn't get in. Um, but as far as the ball fields or any, I, I guess I don't. I don't want to. Looking just, at the list. I'm looking at the list, and I'm oh, just thinking. Yes. You know, so you're you're so just sort of mentioning CPA applications are due in early March. Do you want to put that on your agenda and talk about? Are there any projects that this? You know, you're basically saying now you want to, you well, want to sponsor a CPA project. So are there if you want to sponsor one, what you, else is out there for yeah, CPA projects well, that you're willing to sponsor? Well, I, I and you're interested in facilitating. Are we ready for anything? I don't know if we're ready for. Well, we'll put it on the agenda. We can we'll maybe talk about it and see if there's meeting. anything. Yeah, if we, yeah why don't we, why don't we yeah, put it on for February 26th? Because yeah. yeah. we could still get it in by the March 2nd deadline. Yeah, let's mm -hmm. do that. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm just not sure if we're ready for anything. Uh, so I don't know. Do you want to go down this list a little bit? or I mean, it's, it's late, but um, do we want to talk about these projects ongoing here we've, while we're, we've while we're all together? We've kind of talked a little bit about them, but what do you, what do you think? Do you want to try to have them or go through? Well, this, Carolyn, had, Carolyn had sort of given us her five, you know, last time she'd given us her five priorities. So, I mean, if you think it's going to be productive, Trevor, for you guys to, I mean, I think Casey's looking for you guys to really reach consensus on, you know, some of these things. So here's the thing. You I guys have, in order for me to perform, I need to know what your expectations are. And... I've already identified a couple of them, but if I if you if I can't get you guys to consensus, then I can't perform, and so that's my key problem. I think the I want to be able thing, to perform. The number one thing is you've got to hire a yes. assistant. Yes, yes, okay. ma'am. That is on my that is my first priority. <laughs> is that we number, all agree number, on? Yes. Number two is that we, we need to manage that sewer project, and that doesn't all obviously fall on you, but it's you know coordinating all of that. Um, it's it's such, a big such a massive project. And Kevin and I had a conversation yeah, about that this morning. Update you so on we need to have a conversation yes, about that. Yeah. Yeah. So and that's major. Um, yeah. there's a civil rights I know. I, I think you, you would feel more connected to oh, yeah. that. I know. You I, think loan you, stuff. I think you'll feel more connected to that once we have the meeting on the 21st um, mm -hmm. with the engineers again. Yes. But, but I got to read up yeah, to get there. I'll get you. Yeah. Okay. I'll definitely do that. The. You know, for, for, for me, it's I, I really want to get going on the sidewalks in town and the planning of the common and the around it, um, the sewer, that, um, you know, of, and, and then we're still, you know, for me, important things for me are planning this, what we're doing with our senior center you know, the meeting we had earlier today, just that kind of vision of what we're doing for downtown long term for our senior center, senior housing, economic development with the, you know, improving our area downtown, working with the, with the uh, businesses. I mean, other than that, I, I mean, I'm happy if anything's moving along. I'm not super like... You must be doing this, but sewer's number one for me just because it's huge. I think, okay, wait. Dave, you agree that that's okay. So that's staffing and sewer. Okay, what's the third one? Let's go with three because three is a manageable amount of of, th of things to do. My number three is Oxford. Right. Oh, yes. Oxford. Okay. We got to get that yeah. RFP Economic out. I'm striving me crazy. Yeah. The RFP. We have buyers. So we have we have. So we that's have what we were surveying, trying to drill down. We drill down. To yeah, we've got to. Get the we got to, someone's got to follow up and get the RFP get out, the otherwise we're going to miss the, the building. Get the RFP until the survey's done. Right. Right. So the survey's follow Somebody up has the to survey. call the survey. Okay. Okay. You're not getting paid right. yeah. unless... We got, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, we're, we were having a... So we have a draft of the original, we have a draft of the ANR, the, the first plan from the survey. We need to circle, you know, because we need to because revisit we, it with we, Kevin. It is missing some things that Kevin asked for. So, but just so you know, we do have a first draft and we, we're going back to the surveyor and we'll get the plan and... But it needs to be done and immediately. Then, I would yeah. also we still like have to, to go out. Traps, so I know what's missing. Okay, because that was the thing. Okay. This is I think it just came day in the email two. It today. did. It, That's fine. And we've been sort of trying to. <laughs> I, I, I get all that. Just yeah. talk yeah. through totally some fine. of the okay, stuff so that are right. We agree on the three. So because 
We're going to miss staffing wastewater space. treatment plant. Is it the Clarifier project? Clarifier and the larger, okay. uh, larger phase one. Okay. And then phase and two. And Oxford. And then yeah, there's and then uh, yeah, it's the larger Hiding thirty million dollar project. Yeah. Okay. But I can help. With, I'll, right. Okay, That'll so that will. <laughs> Let me let us go back and yeah, look at yeah. the plan because we looked at it briefly and then something so else was, walked through the door. He so was surveying um, that lot and then also Leary lot. Mm -hmm. So I don't yeah. know if that came. No, to we're doing. We're doing. We're focusing on New England Natural Bay. We're focusing right. We're on focusing that first. on Oxford. That's first. getting done okay. first. So, so that's he what he's focused on. Because there's a time frame to do that. Okay. That's right. That, right. That's right. Because yep. we're trying to get the RFP, RFP out. out. Okay. We're trying to, the RFP has to go out so we don't miss the building season. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. Because our buyers are going to go away. That's right. We know. Okay. Okay. So let us clarify that with Kevin, and okay. we'll get back to you. So that's good for now. Well, three Let's is good. Let's go with three. Yeah, three's good. I like three. And there's, there's, there's well, what, I can 23 think of a left. Four. Um, I can think of four. Yeah. Stop. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> no, no, well, no. They're all important. And the other 23 will yeah, just happen. The will just, just happen. We'll see what happens. Well, but the only thing give, is, give the, me a place to start. <laughs> the MVP program probably is going to have another round of money, yeah. and we need to, you know, be on top of that. It's or decide. Yes. What you're going to do. Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, if you're going to be mean, on you top saw, of it, you still have a lot of. Because if you get into a round of complete going. streets funding no. too, you are going to be know, in very, very deep <laughs> for your grant. Well, that's the thing, yeah. and even maybe we don't have the availability to work with vendors to help manage those things too because they can get really massive. I know, yeah. I know. Yeah. And the sewer, I, I like think, the Carolyn, if, if, you, if we got another grant for MVP, I mean, I'm not even sure Ty and Bond could even, I mean, we uh, would be really, too. we are we are deep I right now. I an issue with that, Carolyn. <laughs> You're deep. Yeah. So just, let's, we've just, got some let's stuff. Let's focus on what we have to do that we right. already have going Well, we gotta get, for we now. have to make sure that we get Kelleher Drive the, done yes. as soon as possible. So that, I mean, that's part of the MVP. We got to move that along. Yes, absolutely. Yep. Um, because, I mean, we have a tight time frame. That has to be completed. It has to be completed. Very short time frame. God. It has to be completed by experience. June 30th. But also, yeah, it's we're, the, we're, oh, gonna yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna, gonna have to ask for it. Yeah, we're gonna have to ask for it. They know that. They know that. They know it's not. It's just that we have not even. I know. Well, they just gave us the money two days ago. Okay. All right. We're moving along really quickly. Okay. So what we need to do is break this list. I know. Yes. Let's break this list. Okay. And I think maybe we should have some categories. Yes. Yes. All right. We can do that. No. Wait. No. It's two things. So it's not flooding. No. It's not mosquitoes, right? Because if it is, I'm getting up and leaving. I feel like it's the hazardous mitigation plan. Oh no, I'm out of here. Is that on the agenda for the 26th? The 26th, yes. Okay. Kimberly called me and told me she couldn't do it the 12th or the tonight, but we were going to definitely but do it. I wouldn't it. let her get it off the hook. No, so no, no. We're doing it the 26th, I think Carolyn. We public comment. We've got to find those maps, though. I don't know. It's the only person I haven't asked is Roger Sadowski. So yeah, Roger, Roger Sadowski, if you're listening, you got to bring in those maps. All right, so how's this going to be? What, Gosh, what are you, you just, doing? You can't on leave this place. You have to have a public hearing. <laughs> you love process. this. Right. So are you doing it that day or are you? That night. Okay, so you got to have a public hearing because right. don't we have I'm a gonna re the process? I'm yes. going to rewrite. So we are pushing her to get to have the final draft so we can have a public I'm hearing. I'm going to rewrite the final draft. this. And All right. I'm going to send it up to her. I'll come in so you can scan. Is that the vector stuff? Okay. Yes. And then right. we're then you got to make sure you have to follow up with her to make sure that it happens. Well, that's the thing. There's a time frame for the public hearing notification. I know, because we were dealing with that in Nashville. I know. So that's why we got to get on her. Okay. Um, I have lots. And, of and then I just want to say that um, coronavirus. Um, I had a meeting. We're doing the template for messaging. The coronavirus is so um, evolving that there's not much to say at this point other than that we're watching the situation. Mm -hmm. I talked to John, um, his continuing operations plan, COOP plan, he's thinking about it. I talked to Zach, he's thinking about his um, COOP plan. I'm going to dig out our COOP plan, Casey, as you remember, from the H1N1. We'll yep. update it. Um, I'll, I'll do that. Um, I have um, March 2nd from 5 to 8 is our tabletop um, pandemic, um, act, you know, tabletop drill. So we're going to go through and we're going to practice our cold chain um, vaccine management. So I'm, I'm really excited because that means that we'll be a certified distribution site for 
when they get vaccine. Oh, but the ch chances of any vaccine is earliest this fall, you know, sometime in the fall. So, um, but we'll be ready. And everybody's committed to come. Um, all four towns are coming. And, uh, you know, Sunderland, Waitley, and Conway, and Deerfield. And um, if you guys can make it, that's great. It's up at the FERCOG. Um, and um, we'll, we'll be on top of it. We're, we're going to put our initial, we have another meeting next week on the messaging. If there's anything new, we'll put the messaging out on the website and the police. Um, Adam will keep the police Facebook updated. Okay? Okay. That's it. Thank you. Um, I had a motion to adjourn, but we had, we may have public yes. comment. Do we have any public comment out there? No? Wally, you've got to wash your hands. I the number one way to fight the flu, colds, and the coronavirus is to wash your hands. Please. And, okay. and be careful. Um, okay. So motion to adjourn. I thank you so much. I second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.